you can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the Space Riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your Space Rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. Go, go. We'll make our stand. Don't give a damn. This is our time to go from zero. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. Pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. Hitting those dingers, George. You'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Are you ready to go, go, go? We'll the movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. This is our time to go for fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I'd love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. I can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Hope Mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies.
Peter Quill. Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just the junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right. Be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. I am Groot. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! I am Groot. Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill? I am Groot. No, I, I think I heard him. Ah, never Take a look at this. Huh? Had to use her last... Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> <laughs> arrested? For what? <laughs> Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details! <sighs> nice gizmos, Rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah! 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 Holy holla, rocket! Stop! This ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, 
You know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She is waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempted treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Morgoth be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. Morgoth is a politeness thing. Happy and customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. She's only been here a few months, but her room's already decked out. Here, you see that? Yep, that's the cable coming out right there. Flarkin think he's slipping off the socket. Gotta be careful when you plug him in. Just in case. Doubt you'll have to fiddle with any of this once we're on the ground. Hmm. Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Just pocketing a little something so this job don't turn out like our monster hunting gig in the Hilda Cluster. Please, no. If I see a single jellyfish rat in the quarantine zone, I'm turning around. <laughs> hey, come on, Gamora. Don't lie to yourself. We all know you like slicing through the squishy critters. Nice. Hmm. This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknoff Seven. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath through ten moons while riding across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. And when she when arrived... When she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew away the Shatari. Indeed. It did. I am Groot. If he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. Rocket! Why are the array cables everywhere on the floor? I'm working on it! <sighs> nice. Rocket finally cleaned up the fur balls. You're welcome!
<laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... <laughs> he leans over to me, and he says, Uh, w w what do you need these for, then? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, we all know how you feel about dancing. I am Groot. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I, uh, need them to build, uh, some ultrasonic lures so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the most, uh, legal place in the Quadrant. You wanna throw in a discount? <laughs> Almost 20 years, and those tracks are hey, uh, still Groot, fire. Did that escort job on Orga ever pan out? What do you mean you never called her back? Don't know if you noticed, but we're flarkin' broke. What? Wait, what kind of escort was that contract about? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd rather be broke. Wish you were here, Mom. Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Oh. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. chips you took from the alignment console? I'll do it as soon as I reconfigure them! You better not try to sell them off! Not like I'd make any money! Things are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here! We're going in! We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. Two, two, one, eight. No. Do not confuse him, Rodent. There. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's 
probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda! Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And too close to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Thumper one, done. Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? I am good. What, the pink goo? Hey, starboard! Wrong way! You guys sure you don't need help? I am good. Yep, very sure. Focus on your own task. Yep, being here definitely feels a little weird. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh, big resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Take that, brittle stuff. <laughs> he is not a better shot than me. Hold you. Show off. Just making sure my guns work. Peter Quill, the insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we planned to do. She is also quite contrarian. We talked about this on the Milano, Drax. Try harder. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Ships did you personally destroy, Assassin? You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, check out the serious intel I got from, you know, shady sources. Flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. 
Let's go an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance name? You mean the Ebrium based nano resin cluster foam? Never trust something without many dashes in its name. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. <laughs> the three of us hanging out. Just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I am Quilt. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Just imagine what kind of blasters the Jatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, alright? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Tryon Shard in here? You never heard of the Tryon Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Making things up. Name one time I ever made something up. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Ah, shut up. Ask Gamora. Bet she's heard about the Tryon chart. Hey, Gamora! I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. I know Thanos had his hands on it during the war. It's gotta be in here somewhere. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe-ish. Safer than flying with Kimura, anyway. I heard that. I heard Nova Corps once wanted to cover the entire planet to Nova Corps. Uh, uh, Watch it, Quill! Uh, Someone's been practicing! Uh, 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 I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm Groot. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago, anyways. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. 
Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I am good. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott stayed, Will. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. Now this brings back memories. You fall into another hole, Quill? I'm, uh... Assessing stuff. If all else fails, shoot something! Warning. Attacked by strange creatures when installing a thumper. Holy shot! Quill, was that you? I shot something, like you said. I've got a way forward. See? Never fails! Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die! Aw, oh, you little guy. <laughs> Bro, what the floor? You dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal even without the car. We're busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. Whoa! Hurry, your fat beauty butt up! Hey! That foot's not fat! Pop <laughs> up! eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Hey, Gamora, make sure the Milano don't get stuck in any of this resin. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably the seduced starstruck over there. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we'll just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Yeah, scrubbing off all that nano resin. If it even comes off. Just trust me on this. It'll all be worth it in the end. Mother of Scotland! Oh. Uh, are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vinyl. Oh, yeah. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom, right under your nose, Quill. Ugh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm good. Hey, Greenies. See any blue and gold chips out there? You let us know. We 
have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark bat! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think the Milano can outrun a full- I agree. Okay, here we go. Alright, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Fucking monster face! Everyone get ready! Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. <laughs> Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster all the way to Lady Hellbender... Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! We can modify her. I'd kill for a gunner's rotunda. We'll think about it. I'm Groot. Groot wants a plant. Groot, man! We will get you two plants. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Sentry prototypes, star stealth models with modified sneak attack parameters. How do you know all this? 
Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh... I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I can see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Yep, that would have been a killing blow. Ha! Not even close! I'm pretty sure I ain't never had no root. Oh yeah! How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, it would not die so easily. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stomped it. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. <laughs> you guys are so. <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this battle? <laughs> I mean, with the units he'll owe me once I win. You. <laughs> Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! Can't take the giant robot home. And believe me, that's a painful sentence for me to say. Exactly! You suck, Star God! Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Boo! No one knows what those are! You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, bumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. 
Rocket! I only flip the switch on and off to see if it's gonna love that kill radius. Incoming! Feel free to kill some now! I thought we were safe. Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with the unsmarts? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Do we really need to test these things? Appreciate the confidence of my work, but yes! I eat bugs like you for breakfast! That one was juicy! How are there this many of them? About to be one less! Danger close, Rocket! Cleaning gunk out of my fur for weeks! Oh yeah! I'm gonna murderize the lot of ya! Just watch where you're shooting! Oh. Oh. It's like popping a sit- Oh, you rocket! Hey, I knew I was missing all the fun last time! Hey! I'm happy to take this round off! Hit him down, crew! <laughs> At least they make a good flag! That's the spirit! I'm loving this! Nice splatter, Rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. I am Groot. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Sorry about what? Groot's people never even got a chance to fight. Whole Destin planet was torched at the start of the war. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. I am Groot. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. I am Groot. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. I am Groot. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh, oh no! Oh, ah! Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a truck. Come on, cool. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Good signal to find His radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. So? 
I, I really don't know if you're being clever or dumb right now. Team Rocket, out. <laughs> Sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was! It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it! You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our separate points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to get another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of uh, maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Floor! It's stuck on something! And... Boop. Someone's been practicing. Come on! Let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get the strap. It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> One for me! That point don't count before dead! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys... Good to see you two. You're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Track says hurry and incoming! Watch out! Run. in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Lark and tensor joint. Just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space particles. Ah.
Quill, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. Uh... Well, that's concerning. that? Uh, it's a swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots? You don't know. Sorry about the shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? I am good. And I'm glad you're safe, too. Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. I am good. Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. Chunk of something fell off, and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. Anyone else get... A weird vibe off this place. Maybe it's haunted. Haunted with what? You know, ghosts. Oh, please, Quill, don't tell me you're one of those. suck to get busted in here, you know, with just one exit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. There ain't nothing spooky. It's an old ship is all. And dark, sure. All right, you made your point. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. There's a doorway behind that big thing. Someone help me push it. Old beauty? I am Groot. A table! This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear? Hey, hand me that part.
One tick. Done. There's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Equipment just old. Noted. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Oh, 
more can find us too. I do not share your hope. Their soft Here, flesh is primed for slicing. Did I hear blasters? You sure did. Save some for me. That's gonna be a problem. My turn! Run him through! Feel this? I just love hearing their shells crack! You greenies found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead, Ben. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. That crate is being held up by this crane. We could free it, were it not out of reach. Helps to be nimble. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Can you all some more stuff for me, Drax? You can put it down here. Understood. Remember this moment, should you ever think of crossing the assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. Maybe we would've gotten along. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Once we deliver her tribes, Lady Hellbender could become an influential ally. How so? They say that the mere mention of her name can end a negotiation. You want to turn the Guardians of the Galaxy into an extortion racket? No. I want people to offer us bigger tasks because they fear her wrath. Same thing, Drax. Oh. Say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Look, 
Dark Nerds on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wooltops Fields we must are. wait! is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. What the genius said work? You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. My blades are eager to meet this monster. Remember, we take it alive. No accidents this time. I don't want to repeat. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that? Hear what? Oh! Our monster. Hey, that thing is fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking. Well Like a pet! Here, monster! Who's a good monster? Bad creature! Come face the punishment! I think it's staring at me! Perhaps you resemble its natural prey. Abomination! Perhaps you speak its language. Ugly, smelly, yes! What is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. 
It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the Monster Queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the... I see what I'm seeing. Yes, now that is a monster. All right, enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket! Hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks, Mr. Peter, who instructed me. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say hell is hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. 
We need to get rid of that animal. Now. Ugh. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? <laughs> hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacor licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. 
That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power, no containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I. Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Admit it that you know nothing. Just to be no. super clear you on the mom thing. <laughs> safe there. Here, help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. <sighs> okay. We need to keep moving. This Dead way. Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. I you know I can probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way.
kidding me? Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Call me Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? You easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. So, we're agreed that you owe me one, right? Uh, no. By my count, I've saved you at least as much as you saved me. Unbelievable! Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just... it's... I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. You're in luck, by the way. The brig got disinfected recently. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2. B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh... died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was... A, is... a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. This way. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. It's 
A dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Oh. Almost there. Seriously? Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you 
didn't overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. What you did was extremely dangerous. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not- I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like- Feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war, it was a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Lockdown disengaged. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. 
at all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Um, okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. 
Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. If I had a unit for every minute of my time you waste with your flarkin' ideas. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot? <laughs> you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? <laughs> Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it... it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing, and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Why you gotta be so paranoid, big guy? You didn't mind trusting me on Hanchi. Trust you repaid by attempting to rob our employer. I told you, I was just testing their security measures. So you claimed. Let me guess. You're watching me. I am. What do you think I'm gonna do? Conjure some units from thin air? Can you do that? No! Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man. Those first few years, 
Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... Luke. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What?! Can you come here for a sec?! What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check! Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. So, got any ideas to get those units together? Do you have... investments? <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out and I do stuff. Perhaps we are somewhat alike. Smells like llama breath. What is in that container on your work table? Your mom's love letters. My mother did not write love letters. She displayed her affection by hunting large game animals for my father to cook. Ugh, now I'm hungry. Hmm. What if we contacted one of the Assassin's disreputable sources? My sources are reputable! She don't really mean that. What were you saying? One of those informants is bound to be of value to Novacor. You want to sell out one of Gamora's guys? Well, if they are murderers, then justice would be served, and we could negotiate an extension of our fine. Huh. Well, if uh, I wasn't so sure Gamora would stab you in your sleep just for suggesting it, I think it was a pretty solid plan. So, how about a plan that won't get us skewered by a resident murder crumpet? Murder isn't always about you! I thought that... Yeah, yeah, I was talking about her. So, a plan? I suggest we wait to hear what Peter Quill will propose. <laughs> Quill? He got us into this mess in the first place. He ain't got a plan.
Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Pirates, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many Resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? 
Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic right, mountains. Yeah. Guys! Let's just... Hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. <laughs> Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I am Groot. 
dry up. That's what I want to do after this mission. I don't know. Uh, after we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predictable? Contraxia's got nice weather. This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It's not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, who said you could touch that? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tor. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kinda looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence, and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency, and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, rocket. For real.
Why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Amatar did have a nice forest, because it was dry. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf-9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. I hate wet. Are we going? Because I'm ready. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. We accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellman. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Ah. Ew. Ah. Ouch! Ah. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. Small furry creature, lightly used. Underwhelming. The rodent has menacing fangs. We shall focus on them. Talk about underwhelming. You won't be so dismissive when I bite off your... We got this. There's no fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> you know she can't control the weather, right? Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking wreck. Exactly! She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman, and she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady H is... Oh! Oh! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys, focus. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keyword live. If any of you die, I'm going to... 
We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little bit. around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? Think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully. This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. Having fun? I didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are! Wing controls! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. I hope it still works. Great! Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Clark! 
don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Yes, some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, these tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. We ain't wanted. We never go anywhere. Good point. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Hey, this lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Hey, what about her sister Nebula? Hmm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. This jungle is majestic. And then everything's trying to kill you so the right score. That is precisely why it is majestic. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quilt so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking dogs! How will we cross? Face Look around, we'll find another way. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch it. There has to be 
be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? You would still have three. No one's throwing rock. Shatari tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this. Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm. It was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the mud. Ridiculous. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? Try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? What's oh. up, people? Incoming! <laughs> ah! I was born! <laughs> Shack up! turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, does it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. 
She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sekhar 9. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Drax, wanna clear a path? Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantrymen. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what the whole time? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else could cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? Just go. No, you just no go. One go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. Yup, definitely saw the giant cat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. We are not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. 
Yo, Quill, check out the upper wing strut. Looks pretty compromised to me. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? Gamora, you know your ships. What about that loose unit up there? It's covered in fungus. We probably could knock it off, but not from down here. Also, I'm not the one with the gun. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Uh, right there should be fine. Let's do this. That bomb is full of old dead notes. You should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets. By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. We'd be lucky to find a finger, let alone an intact body. Did Thanos teach you this? That one? I taught myself. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. That's a pretty big reactor unit up there, and it's only hanging on by a thread. I wonder if we can pop it loose. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Small marvel crafted. Here you go. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I do would prefer. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. That baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Right about there. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Hold that for me, bud. Here looks good. Shall we do think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? I am good. If they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. Perfect. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. I see. I see. Don't take too I wonder if I can get down there. No giant monster. Here goes nothing. First a down resistance ship, now a Nova War one. Woo! <laughs> that was fun! Did he perish? Hey, Quill, you dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. Hey, you think he's stuck? Hey, Gamora, could you pull me over? What if you wedge your sword in the crack? Are you sure about that? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh yeah, we made a deal. You can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want to date with your sword, Gamora. What next, Peter Quill? 
surprised this thing has been picked clean itself. This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora is super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. I can hear you downwind. I can hear you downwind. Come on, guys. We're a team. Let's all work together. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, slimy. Uh... Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Son of a schmack! Reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scum like this. Just could you just please look at the wall? Well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, sorcery. Here we go again. Whoa, whoa, 
guys! These insults you keep tossing around, are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? Today, I Let's am the destroyer! Do this! Great! Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Need your help, Drax. I am of no use. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. Rocket, you could fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make us steps. How am I supposed to even get up there? Hey, Gamora, can you dig out that cannon? If you want to wait a few rotations. I shall extract the cannon. It is... More stubborn than expected! Impossible! It will not stay in place! Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive! Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket! I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, the Atari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! What? Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! You know, when it comes to taking out Shatari, Drax has a couple of big notches on his belt, too. I heard he took out Warbringer. Warbringer is dead. You sure? Yes. Who was the freaky one you killed, Drax? Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Come on, why is the bridge always on the wrong side? 
This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You are dead! Dead! No! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to learn. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. The Weasley Chitauri installation stuff our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my... <clears throat> Blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed.
First rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Yeah, way worse than usual. I swear, Quill, that's the last time I follow you through rock poop. Hey, I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. What do we do if all don't go well with Lady Egg? We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold Groot instead. He <laughs> freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. That is bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. <sighs> Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not perfect. 
Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you broke? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flark and his look at the main business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Are you broke? Can you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Stuck in a flarkin cage, please. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. I'll just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. We'll make our stand. Don't give a damn. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Thunder when it comes, will bring with it many guns. 
Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. 
Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Hand still stings from catching Mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them. If I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The Clark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Okay. Since I was for sure listening, I'm gonna go with Gamora's solo whatever. You're gonna let her just go in alone and steal Look me back. I am? I, I mean, I am. I've done this sort of thing a hundred times. Yes, we're and going every time to find are you sneaking in to kill someone? Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I am Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Half World and the meanest SOB in the quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean, Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. You would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster arm.
army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those two. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her whole monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the police and hospital surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Come over near the cave and say that again. Good, Hellbeast! Let them hear your bestial howls! Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. Um, he means you gotta sell the illusion. <laughs> exactly. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy of gold. Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Authenticity. It is what you say it is. Prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I say, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. My 
believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. reach its big size. Big size? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. What would you call it? It is a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. If I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a woodland creature. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. Big, scary, trigger happy monster. And what would you like for the... Hell Beast? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less? Twenty thousand? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like... Twelve? No. Nine, then. Ugh. The creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am Quill. And Groot's not for sale.
Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't here without them. I am Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way up. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't have time to argue. Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Quill's right. Shut the traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. This is all gonna be worth it when we empty that vault. It is unknown if we will even be able to access its contents. The only if you gotta worry about is if you're gonna be able to carry all of that loot. We got company! About time! Faceless goons go drop like cartoons! Compensate our loss, rodent! Let's just worry about getting out of here! We're headed the right way! Maybe! Yeah! You don't have the faintest clue where we're going! This one has become monster food! Oh, man! You made that spinster hell! Get a load of those helmets! Think their faces are all messed up under there? Don't suppose Hellbender will hire us now! I ain't taking orders from that skull suit anyway! Not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. We should keep moving. We are moving. But we should be doing it faster. Sure, it could have gone smoother. Could have gone worse, too. Remember the Arago job? We managed to shoot our way out of that one too, didn't we? And swipe that bioweapon along the You see? Vault's right there. We smash and grab, then like Will said, out the way we came. Five thousand units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy! Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Smash of the more fierce! I'll enjoy this! Prepare for pain! Lady Helvin! Careful what you wish for! Okay, so we gotta shoot her! Move it out of the big guy! I told you we should have tried to tell her fruit! Lady Helvin approved an app negotiator! He's no pushover, that's for sure! Try biting your tongue, Rocket! Why 
Monsters. Thanks, Drax. Something to look forward to. Yeah. Ah! Fight, cowards! Uh, guys, I think we walked right into a trap. Trap? Ah. Oh, she said trap. Everyone look for a way out. Quickly! The murderous eye has returned. Right, too. When they collide, it will blow a nice hole in the wall. The floor's weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. You carve us a hole, Gamora. Flattered, but no chance. This has got Destroyer written all over. I shall reduce it to rock. You expect us to crawl through a sewer? I ain't getting wet again. I don't want to hear one word out of you. You all got a real funny way of saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. More like murderous rage. Keep talking, you ingrates. I'm happy to cut you out of your take from the vault. Just admit it, Rocket. We had a plan and you blew it. The plan was blown the minute it crawled out of your brain. I saved the plan. You do not get credit for salvaging your own blunder. The blunder was putting our lives in his grubby little hands. I knew we should have gone with Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. I am Groot. Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. I am Groot. That's right. Everybody quiet. Come on. We'll cut them off at the vault. Perfect. Does not seem perfect. It means we're headed the right way. Straight into an ambush. If we know. Oh, it's coming. It ain't an ambush, is it? Another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a night with a big loot. My gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. 12? How'd you get 12? It was a measurement of my growing frustration. All we gotta do is grab the goods. Well, take a deep breath, cuz we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Leave that to me. Heads up! Ambush! Yeah! We're ambushing them! Throw the 
my tracks! I'm ready! I am adding 50 units to your death program. You'll get it back as soon as we're in the vault. Make it fast. Of course. There ain't a lock this side of Xandar I can't pop. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. You keep your manis on. You can't rush genius. All Hellraisers to the main vault. Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. Let's get to it. Blades grow weary! My patience grows weary! Make your makeup! Any last words? We've let ourselves get back into a corner! Go over there, Rocket! Oh, Bitch, we'll have you! I'm right for you! I'm just looking for an ETA! However long it takes you to watch, whatever time you wait, the traffic gate! How is this dude so strong? <laughs> Guys, huddle up! I've got this one, Peter. Let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderous. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. You know what I see when I look at that battlefield? I see all of you. I'm mesmerized. Mesmerized? What? Seriously. You make me want to fight 24 hours a day. So what do you say we run these guys to the ground, huh? Who's with me? That was Way to read the team, Peter. Time's up! And some more! Take your time! We've let ourselves get back into a corner! Quit your moaning, I'm trying to focus! Just keep coming! Are you surprised? I know it! Feel my rock! Lady Hellbender's forces grow more persistent! Yeah, I think the honeymoon's over! Any time now, Rocket! A glorious challenge! Yes, yes, yes. Hellraisers keep coming! My blades grow weary! Well, we ain't traded places! I can do it! Have a breathing room, Groot! Dust in another dust away, freak! Circular! Carve him a new one! Nice to meet you! Lady Hellbender's forces grow 
little more persistent. Yeah, I think the honeymoon's over. Look out, a whole lot of me to go. Yeah, tell him, Quill. What is next, Peter Quill? Come on, you sick Norfian piece of scut! The rodent does not inspire much confidence! I will enjoy this! And... pop! And close enough. Move your asses while you still got them! Did you suck it in there, Groot? See? Nothing. You! Gamora, no killing teammates! That's who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. Oh. He's a liability, Peter. Ha! Coming from the most wanted woman in the galaxy. Most deadly. Same thing. How about a thank you, Rocket? For nearly getting us killed? <sighs> for getting us into... The crappiest vault in the Greater Magellanic Cloud? You said there'd be treasure! A Galeran skull is priceless. Worthless is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing moderately fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover them. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot! Don't break anything! It's gotta be more than just junk in this skag Pretty ain't priceless. They're just lights, and they look heavy as scut. Well, this is not nothing, but nowhere near what we owe. Units are like fur mites. If she keeps any in here, there's gotta be more. From the ventilation, there's probably a major duct typing in there. Huh, good question. Maybe Lady Hellblunder likes to sit in here and look at all her crap. Here we go. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. Not such a bad plan after all. Not exactly good either. All right, this will cover our fine at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Peter Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet? Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. <laughs> Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Clintarian gas on such unworthy invaders. Do try not to melt. All over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath, people! Anyone else feel burning? Like, all over? Clintarian gas breaks down organic material, leaving just a pile of sludge-covered bones. So let's bust our way out of here while we still have the organs to do it! We've got to jam those vents! Hey! I found some... There's a way out behind this wall! Allow me! You're not getting through this with your bare hands! We need something heavy! Don't mind if I do! Do what? Root's right! One of them lights has gotta be plenty heavy! Mora! 
Sora, think you can cut loose one of those lights? Heads up! <laughs> ah, now that was priceless. <laughs> Drax, hurl it right through that wall. With all my might! That'll do her! Let's move, people! I hope you know what you're doing! That makes two of us! once it's littered with our corpses. Nice. An assassin's ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. Here goes nothing! <sighs> Is everyone okay? Gamora, Drax... I'll live. My epithelial layer is intact. Rocky, crew, where are you? Fork. Does anyone see a way out? I see a bright light. Well, don't go towards it. Guardians of the galaxy, how many times do I have to kill you? Stall her, Peter. The audacity that you thought you could rob me. For the record, we weren't all on board with the plan. Thanks, Quill. Why not sell the clothes right off my back? Do you know what I did to the last people who thought I was easy prey? You let them go? I got nothing. We're trapped. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Right! Crap. 
out control! Don't forget about the big one! And beware the spine protrusion! Don't have to tell me twice! Now! Swing! Swarm them, my pets! Oh, man! Why would they have blades in them? I am not sure, but I am sure that you have pushed it! Not getting up from that one! Not gonna chop you down that easy! Rush! Them down, Groot. Come on, give me a shot. Please, I can freeze it. I you can slice it. I don't think he cares anymore. Don't let it heal, Quill. We still need to get out of here and 
fast. Everybody strap in. Now that was a ride. This is no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Money that you forced us into stealing. Yeah, well, what about that smash and grab on Satopia? I didn't hear you complaining then. Lady Hellbender is not a bank. Yeah, that's right. Because if she was, we'd have way more loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really want to know. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't know the Riker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. You need to know that. I just have to... Just an array. <laughs> Just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax, it was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right, we made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. Yeah, if there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else! I wonder what the future has in store for us. More fighting! Perhaps next time we should get a contract with no fighting involved. What would you be good for, then? 
Dispatching enemies is not my only skill. Make it fast, Quill. I still got that array to repair. Can we talk for a second? <sighs> yeah, sure. Let's talk. What you said before Seknarf about me giving a lot to the team and you making it up to me. You mean it? Every word. Then how come when I tell you how to get out of this easy, you ditch my advice and you roll over for Novacore? Rocket, please. Just because I don't always take your advice doesn't mean I don't listen to you. We're a team. Everybody's got an opinion. So you'd rather listen to Gamora? Gamora? Gamora knows her stuff, man. She's the navigator. She navigates the stars and, and planets and, uh, uh, comets. She navigates comets. Sometimes. And Groot is our, uh, special vegetation specialist. His opinion's valid, too. And Drax? What makes him so great? He's, uh, uh... Tactical. Tactics. The man is such a tactician. And then there's me. The guy who gets mad and starts shooting up the place instead of following the plan. Come on. You're a valued member of this team. We started this together. Now we need to make something profitable of it. Something lasting. We could go to nowhere like you suggested. But if we don't pay that fine, Novacore will come for us. How do we make money then? Maybe paying our fine makes some sense. Exactly. So let's just get it over with and move on. Right? We'll see. There. Happy now? We done? Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. It's, now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Rocket, any chance you can check out the fridge while you're at it? I, I ain't got time to refill it. I got other priorities right now. Uh, Penny for your thoughts? What is a penny? Uh, it's money. Like units? The saying means I'd pay to know what you're thinking. We must use our currency to pay the Novacore fine, or we risk... Drax. Just tell me what's up. I am realizing that I do not know as much as I thought I did. Our visit to Seknarf-9 was not what I expected. Because Lady Hellbender isn't a giant? She is definitely not. That is only part of it, Peter Quill. On our way to her fortress, I realize that many of my assumptions about this team have been incorrect as well. Really? The Assassin and the Rodent. Without them and the tree fighting nobly beside us, we would not be alive right now. I told you, they're not bad people just because they have a bad past. Life is... complicated, Drax. Things are never simple. On Katath, it was. I had a family that I cherished and a certainty about life that I no longer possess. I'm sure you'll find it again. Just give it some time. Rodent, will you have time to repair the broken refrigerator door? What? Like now? In the near future. I got a whole comms array to fix. Okay, then. Drax, name three skills you have besides fighting. I am a great cook. Nope. Don't believe it. You have never tasted my cooking. I don't need to. I prefer to eat the hearts of my enemies raw and bloody. Now I'm hungry. Can I help? <laughs> hey, hey! Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got for my favorite super cool assassin as a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. 
How'd you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home, and I found him talking to an empty room, to someone called Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us, in his own twisted way. But Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay. The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then, Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the Queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. I, uh, kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. Are those Shatari handcuffs? What? Oh, uh... Yeah. Strange thing to collect. I and mean, I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's... It's not like that. I found them in the quarantine zone and I just... Kept them. Why? <sighs> well, 
don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... It's stupid. Not... necessarily. You want to talk about it? I don't know if you know this, but my dad is kind of the king of Spartax. I know. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. You're you. Yeah. And it's not exactly a secret. It's what I would have done. Kidnap the progeny of a powerful leader to control them. I mean, Hella knows how long they kept you. Except that it was for the express purpose of keeping the Spartoi Empire from joining the Resistance. Four years. What? Four years. That's how long they had me. Four Earth years. And a few days. I am sorry. Don't be. For a long time, I thought my dad would come get me. Raise an army, send in spies to break me out, something. But he didn't. Guess it wasn't politically advantageous. Fathers suck sometimes. Trust me. At least your dad wanted you. Even after the war, my wouldn't see me. One, want is a nice way of saying kidnapped. Make no mistake, Peter. You're not the only one who was stolen from their home. And two, you went to Spartax? Even had a speech worked out and everything. Hey, Dad, it's me. Your son you left to rot in a Shatari prison? It was that or punch him. I was undecided. Still am. Getting into the White House would have been easier. White House? Basically, my dad loves bureaucratic bullcrap. I thought being his only son would be enough to get me an audience. Turns out I needed an appointment. The Spartoi Empire was in political shambles after the Galactic War. He was too busy to see his kid? Yeah, I got the message loud and clear. I lost everything I ever loved because of him, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. I'm so sorry, Peter. Don't be, I just... Mm, really want to punch him. Ever been to Shatari Prime? More times than I care to admit. Then you know what it's like. How they're like. Scritching, scratching, hissing. Reptilian stuff of nightmares. Oh yeah. Hard to forget. I've seen some pretty messed up movies, but nothing came close to what it was like living on Shatari Prime. I was just a kid. I didn't even know aliens were real until they showed up in my backyard. <laughs> and now? And now you're surrounded by aliens. There aren't a lot of humans out here. Sure, there's a few of us kicking around. Richard Ryder. Right. That guy. Might as well be an alien. Point is, I'm pretty much alone. All because the Shatari saw me as a valuable asset. Not just the Shatari. Thanos. Of course, your dad was pulling the strings. I think I'd almost rather Thanos over those lizards. I can promise you that Thanos would not have been the better option. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, do you know what the Shatari do to their prisoners? The unvaluable ones? They throw them into an arena and make them fight monsters. They take bets. Sabotage favored prisoners by breaking a leg or an arm. All of it for their messed up insect entertainment. You survived, Peter. Men stronger than Drax have been slaughtered in those arenas. You lived. Yeah, I survived all right. As a bargaining chip. Would you have preferred death? I don't know. Back then, maybe. Now? Not so much. Then be glad you made it out at all. <laughs> Helen knows I'm glad you did. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. I guess. Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. Get out of my tail, Quill. I'm busy. You want that array fixed? Then give me some space.
can't believe we're actually going to pay the Bucketheads. Hey, Groot! Is the Chew Devil trying to chew on anything down there? I am Groot. Good. Keep it that way. Starting to think maybe it's just what it eats, you know? I am Groot. Yeah, the QZ would have been an open buffet for something that eats wires. I am Groot. Oh, nice. You made a cute little pen. I am Groot. Yeah, it better stay out of my fur. You didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? <laughs> Looks sturdy enough. You sure it'll be okay in there? <laughs> Bet our comms array wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here. I wonder what the future has in store for us. More fighting! Perhaps next time we should get a contract with no fighting involved. What would you be good for, then? Dispatching enemies is not my only skill. Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of... really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff, too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think, I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Time's ticking away, Peter. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Corel is probably monitoring this ship, waiting to see if we make the right choice. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Hallis Hope. He's the one who keeps crashing. All right, let's pay that fine. Hey, want to take bets on if Quill's going to get back with Cop Lady? Knowing Corral, that would be surprising. 
Groot, really? Quill's got lots going for him, like, um, the hair. You are being facetious. You've been quite vocal about your dislike for Peter Quill's hairstyle. Rocket'll come around, just try not to eat anything else, okay? I know there's some reason we're doing this, but I still want to go on record that I don't want to be here, and that being here is a mistake. Ready to pay our fine? Hi. Even Groot can see you're here for some blueberry pie. This reminds me of when I surrendered to the authorities. What was it like? Liberating. You ever been to the Rock before? Yeah, looks like every other Novacore station. Wanna bet on who can flip off the most officers before they catch us? Not in the mood. Okay, I thought you'd like that. It ain't a station shaped like a rock, it's a rock shaped like a station. Something tells me we'll be out of here faster than your prison sentence. Depends if you still plan on mating with Centurion co -Rel. Any chance you know how to get around this place? You don't get around. You're either brought in or you stick to the reception desk. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paint, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. M ship. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R734 PL. Present validated ticket to kiosk what? prior to ticket? departure. How the fuck are we supposed to get off this rock? Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Novacore find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Larkin knew I should have stayed on board. What? Coming, Rocket? Yeah, yeah. You know, it does seem kind of extra empty around here. Good. The fewer cops we gotta talk to, the better. Your suspicion of law enforcement is itself suspicious. Forgive me if I don't like taking orders from a giant space computer. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can... Cheap shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. Any chance they're all just on break? I am Groot. Groot says the kiosk still says open. I say it ain't our problem. Odd. What is? I mean, besides all of this. There's nothing. Not even a welcome screen. It is on, right? They're always on. Constant connection to the world mind, that's the point. This one's been severed. Huh. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Yeah, no 
Bulbous tech ain't that fancy. Don't expect me to hijack the world mind or anything. I don't like this. We really do need to get that door open. Hey, I can crack it, but the panel's over there and we're stuck here. Have you checked the other rooms, Peter? Hey, Drax, get me a can of Power Star, would you? All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Think you can see through this vent? There! One open air duct. Now we have damaged Novacore property. Eh, just a little. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm sinking the schematic to your visor. Oh. You could do this the whole time? Prepare to be amazed. Oops! Oops, what? Nothing. It's fine. Maybe, uh, just don't touch. There. Fix! There you go, buddy. Free soda. I will not add theft to our list of charges. What's going on? Ain't this the way? Never a space cop when you need one. I'd settle for a disaster. Hey, that sort of worked. The floor feeder. Presto. What up? You know, ta-da! Conspicuously silent. What are they doing? Scanning each other. Flarked if I know why, though. They're acting bonkers. Announcing our lawful intentions. We oh. trespassed only once, discovering the entry of Vanguard. There! You hear that? Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. The sympathies are redundant. Someone out there? I'm half a thing. Remember? I did not. There it is again! Hey! Uh, hey there. Well, hang on, where'd go? Clark, real funny. <laughs> I'll stay out of your hair. Just let me out of here. Perhaps a deadly assassin infiltrated the facility. Hey, I feel the same for you. Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in the cage. Novacore begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Novacore prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. What are you in for? What? Nothing. Case of mistaken identity. They mistook me for someone who gave a crap. Ooh, I like him. And back at you, Weasel. So how about helping a guy out? See if there's a door release or something. Perhaps the sentient space computer summoned all Novacore back to Zando. Whoa, well, hey, what did you do? Uh... Hey, where am I going? What's happening? Wonder where it took him. Furnace. Congrats, Quill. You just executed your first prisoner. That seems improbable. Maybe the station got hit. I hear there's still Shatari remnants who like to attack under protected Nova spots. There are no signs of a struggle. It's like everyone just disappeared. That is not possible. Maybe we just sent him back to his cell. Like that was the visitor's area. In my experience, Novacor do not permit visitations. You were in the kiln. Of course you weren't allowed visitors. This isn't a supermax. You! Hey, buddy! Ah! Uh, oh, hey! Oh, what now? I got rights! Now this place brings back memories. You once served with the Novacor, Peter. What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass.
bothering me. <sighs> Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. It ain't spooky. Whoa, that guy was serious business. Well, now he's seriously someone else's business. Assuming that's the last we see of him. The whole station can't be uninhabited. It is not uninhabited. It is inhabited by robots. I like it better this way. Getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. And none of that screams run away to you? Ugh, oh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay, piece of cake. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, you were too. Are these Centurion armor? Yup. Feel free to try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. You wouldn't fit in one anyway. To wear armor is to expect failure. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo. Each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the bugs tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't hack. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for the. Ah! No wonder the door's all torqued out. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. What do you think one of these suits would go for on the black market? Don't even think about it. I I'm not gonna. I I'm just asking. You don't pay me enough, Quill. More nothing! There's gotta be an explanation. The House Hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Formerian pox. I am experiencing a mild itching sensation. Yeah, and I got a real pain in my ass. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am cool. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay, we try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got, uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with, uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. Promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. 
Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a bet. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7 with faith. Sector 3, check in. Sweep of Sector 3 in progress. There has been some uh, resistance to the promise. Permission to initiate cleansing procedure. Cleansing procedure authorized. Faith be with you. Let's keep looking. Or we could focus on getting off this Fracactus space station. The door's flark, remember? There's ways to unflark things, Gamora. Believe me. Bombs don't count. What about that? Where do you think that goes? Down. Enough for me. Hey, what happened to one more room? You said the door's busted. I'm sure it's just a little further. You ain't sure of scut. I'm mostly sure. We found something, didn't we? So why the flark? Didn't you speak up? It was... weird. There was something funky about the voices on that comm channel. was an execution. I ain't never seen cops kill each other. We've got to play this smart until we know what's going on. And which side survived? All right! Everyone stick me low and follow me! There's something off about them! Look! They're flarking, glowing. Seems a safe bet these are the bad guys. Let them have it! Go! My guy's really starting! 
Crazy out there, Quill. Dast and scum nuts soak up bullets like you wouldn't believe. Then return every beating I deliver with equal force. We're gonna be in real trouble if we don't stop him. You think we're in trouble from these guys? Well, I say trouble is our middle name. When we're slicing scuts with a knife or a blade, and we're shooting fast and groups making shade, that's what I call trouble. Who's with me? Today, I am yes! the destroyer! Time the bl- I am trying to destroy! Death has come! Watch it, Drax! Death is moving in time! Get the point! Those mines are gonna be an issue! Get it back, Ruth! Chop, chop, Gamora! Chop to pieces! I do not think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! I am broke! Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! I prefer the rodent's plan. So tried. Is there any way for us to track where the hope went? Why the scut would we want to do that? There could be survivors aboard. Or more of those... Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano the and- Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said all cycle. Pursue the non-believers! All must behold her gift! If these nutjobs have done anything to my ship, it's on you, Quill. I don't think they'll bother with the Milano. Says you. They know we're here now. Don't be surprised if the whole place goes on lockdown. Intruders in siege on this place!
the Nova Corps crackpot! This day was going. All must see. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? Hey, we can get through here. <laughs> You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look, are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova? No fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. This door's locked. I said down here. Good of you to join us. What's the harm in checking? What's the harm? Oh, let's just pay our fine. Let's just look around. Let's just stumble onto a floor and cult mutiny. I am Groot. Who says I can't? This is his fault. In fact, I'm done talking to him. To who? You! Too late. Huh? Groot, tell Mr. One More Room him and me are done. Fine. Quill, Groot says you and me are done. This is not productive to our egress from this station. So, you think... Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's gotta get us out of here. Purge the faithless! Clark and Scott! Can nothing go easy? <laughs> this position Throw is that strategically tracks. compromised! I'm about to compromise the faces!
crowded. <laughs> I wasn't second guessing, I'm just sure. These doors have been barricaded. Means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the house. Uh is that? Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So let's flark and go already. Come on, Rocket. You can't stay mad at me. Wanna bet? Not after the last one. How about you just don't piss me off any further till we're off this flarkin' rock? All right. Hang it, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PO. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4 PL. Done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And. Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. But you're going to have to release those clamps manually. All right. Release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape her rebels. light. Focus on the clamps, Peter! We'll try to keep them off you! One down! <laughs> try to keep them from... your job! Hand on a swivel! There's another one! All right, I'm hooked into the Milano system. Where's my two? should set course for Contraxia. We bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? 
Cause that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The Abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Maybe we should check other Novacore stations to see if they're all right. You want to check out Novacore, you do it after we get to nowhere. Quill really cared about this team. He wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. I am Groot. I am not. We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Perhaps we should consume the rest of our food rations before we reach nowhere, to make room for new ones. I'll pass. You were not hungry? I already checked the cupboard. All we've got left are number five ration packs. Ah, uh, yes. The dehydrated eggs are foul. Quill. Seriously? Just make it fast, okay? Why do I even bother helping you, Quill? Done. All done. Also, Flark you. See you never, Quill. Get out of my room, Quill. What are you doing here? Leave! Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Ugh, 
Groot, why? So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Assassin! Calm down, I'm just going to the bathroom. I am not agitated. You just looked at me like you wanted to stab me. My apologies. I have been told I have an angry thinking face. Did Rocket say that? No, it was Hovat, my late wife. Oh. Sorry. She used to compliment my contemplative scowls. She found them very arousing. All right, I'm out of here. Well, that didn't last long. Gonna have to ask Groot about this when he's free. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Looked pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force? Doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. Nowhere here we come. and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You were certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course! He's Chief of Security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. I hope Nowhere's Chief of Security will intervene to assist Novacor, a station we visited. It perturbs me still. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. You wouldn't know Rocket's tracker removing guy by any chance. Nope. Sorry. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Have you 
had dealings with this Cosmo murderess. We've circled back to that name, have we? It's a statement of fact. You are by trade an assassin. And you're a convicted serial killer. Your hands are exactly What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? Demonstrate... If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's got to be someone shady enough in the market to help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Novacor all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Spaceport seems busier than normal. War always moves the poor to the frontiers. The Galactic War was over 12 revolutions ago. And we're still waiting for the fallout. Some wounds heal. How many scars remain? Find this Cosmo. We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? It's straight through the market. You can't miss it. Something else I can help you with? Uh, no. I think we're good. Enjoy your time on nowhere. Move along, please. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Well, you're one to talk. How many people did you kill on your crusade against Thanos? Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one for hire. <laughs> Keep an eye on your things. These kids are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There were people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered share. That and walking on two legs. I always imagine aliens would be more alien. Any word on your note? Nothing yet. You know I'm Do you mind? You're making me uncomfortable. Your planetary chakras are very unaligned. I had my fortune told at the fair once. She said my future would be a roller coaster ride. Looks like she was right. Yes, so, but at the time I just went and rode the roller coaster. You must be mistaken. I'm doing great. Uh, okay. about with the present. Guards never lie. Only speak true. No price to lie. I'm kind of right in the middle of this whole avoiding the truth thing right now. 
Soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You are his adopted daughter. You believe that? I didn't. Not for a long time. But if Thanos was still alive, he'd have come after me by now. <laughs> These charlatans are incessant. I cannot hear my own thoughts. I think they're counting on that. Why does this cosmo permit them to peddle their lies? Mantis, <laughs> what are you? Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. We mean. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. That is not the point. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. We should find this Cosmo. Be right there. Where did you run off to? You know, just looking around. Looking for information about this Cosmo, I presume. Uh, yeah, sure. Looking for trouble, more like it. Don't you start eyeballing me. You seem to know the insect woman, Peter Quill, even if she could not remember your name. Last time I saw her, we were sharing a prison cell, except she said she was there on purpose. Sounds like Mantis. She's got some serious moves, regular ninja. Did not strike me as very serious. It's a wonder this head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. Sometimes I think the sleaze is the only thing holding nowhere together. Eh, better sleaze than custom nano resin. I still got some of that stuck in my what was his boots. Just 
just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. <laughs> so, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... I know that blonde mop anywhere. Eat that queer. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your bridges. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eater. Or did you forget about me? <laughs> no, man, of course. Of course we remember you, right, Gamora? Uh, yeah. You and Peter fought in the war together? What? I never fought in no wars? And who the hell is Gamora? Uh, the most dangerous woman in the galaxy? You never heard of her? You need an agent. You don't remember, either? You and me, Storm Raiders, together till the end. What is he talking about? Oh, 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 it's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. of course, I, I remember. Y you, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go! Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Got this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a hurricane, ride, storm, 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 Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Let's see the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now it's us to the fly. Same with me, Vita. Driving through, through the pouring the rain. Pouring rain. Security 
Peter. Oh, come here. Who? Oh. Uh, come on. <clears throat> For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good time, good time, good time! You running the ravages now? I hear yonder's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacore. Now my partner on Molydia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, we can say. Uh, that ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, uh, well, listen, Peter. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually going to shoot me? Oh, I would have. Uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? All right, so... I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and take out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember. to me. You want to know another secret? Something big is happening. Something great. Do you want to hear about it? If you're trying to calm me into buying you around, it's not going to work. They're too cynical for me. That makes sense in an uncomfortable truth kind of way. This place brings back memories. 
memories. You mean hangovers. Yep. Last time we were here, that Sakaran was no pushover. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Storm! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Smells the brains. I can't speak about it now, so bad it You must hate it here, then. games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain. Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no grab, no cheats, no cons. No, sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up to milk. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain. Not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Make a choice, Captain. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a shot pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Start shuffling. Get ready to pay out. Oh, what confidence! That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the bowel. Here we go, Captain. The ball's in the middle. Oh, no. That's too bad, Captain. Looks like you lose. She was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes an iron can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bob, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait. Come back here.
terrible. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. If I see you again later, I'll buy you a drink. Mmm, it's a date. Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See suit. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way, Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, I end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines.
Cosmo! Cosmo! What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rosen? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, Die Hard Nowhere? Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way. Get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Well, yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Did. <laughs> uh, uh, La Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady Ace! Uh, no, triple! Uh, I'll, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Ross. Talk about this scrawny little Terran is scared. It's brute force time. Yeah. Maybe we sit down, have a choga dog, start this over. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ah! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs> Never have happy. Careful. We need to split them up. I don't like 
Peter, let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderous. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? Wootox Fields, let's we wait. Are. Caution! Oh. Oh, on, yeah. Prepare yourself, team! You will! Keep drawing their attention! The slicey one is getting away! I will enjoy this! You don't stand a chance! They're invincible when close! Break them up! These fools do not realize their power! Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Dance's every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space, 
Oh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm going to let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh shit. <gasps> no! failed your mission, miserably. Peter Blue, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. It's a legion. What's the difference? Don't know. 
don't care, cause we ain't slouch. Most confirmed kills. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm-mm. Friends will be breaking us out soon. Oh, real soon. Then you'll wish we did, Q. Be silent. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Reckon Lady H will get us out of here, then? I reckon someone will. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Should we be straight? Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! The little bugger just scratched me. I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff doing one, too. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. Yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of... <laughs> What do you think I was going to say? I thought you were about to say, Whoa! Rocky, dude, woof! We should have buffed you in when we buffed the chance. <laughs> like, we are. You don't, woof, woof, woof! What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You rough! <laughs> This. Where are we? You are being still on no <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about to <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the, the Do not feed Cosmo get biscuits, Peter Queen. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction, so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No Ooh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> That's them. 
That old man that's with him, his shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bells for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with Gold Skin God. Let us investigate the Hallows Hope for you. What? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. And we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind, kind with ball. <laughs> what Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Kivan could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restricted. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo bend to agree with Assassin. You were having a great time when... Stop. Now. Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I know you do. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for cause. I am surprised the rodent would... So, what is this, like another elevator? Oh, no. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! Magnificent witchcraft is this? <laughs> I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please, to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I'm good. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. It's time. Investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies.
Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. Are you broke? You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Avengers! Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I would avoid no. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. Is that Earth? Mom? Come on, you're date for the prom is here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, group. Here we go. <gasps> Clark and Hal! Clark and Spread! Okay, here we go! Whoa, Whoa, no, Clark! You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The Beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many Flarkin questions and get us down from here. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are undeniable clues. Dog report item. Who the Flark are you talking to? I am making mental notes of the investigation. It seems pertinent that a number of escape pods are missing. Rocket, what were you two doing in the Cortex? Coming back from a job. A successful one. Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell them to turn them on. Thanks, buddy. Cannot continue until we exit the street. Anyone else thinking Rocket should be the one with the rocket boots? Nothing's happening! Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty! Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. Brook, call the mud. Don't know his hand gave us the finger. You think insulting him will keep us out of jail? We have not yet completed the investigation. We should wait. Nope. Useless. Da. Go do danger mission. Cosmo fix. Not to worry. <laughs> ah, an accurate impersonation. I am impressed. The mutt's playing us for patsies! Storm drain find a battery yet? We are still floating, so... no. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? <laughs> Tell them. Listen up, slug breath. 
Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. I have begun to enjoy this weightlessness. It feels like when Hovat and I fell in love. We were shoved naked from a cliff in a Katapian mating ritual. Uh, someone tell Quill to hurry up. Weird isn't a strong enough word. Get him to hurry. Why isn't he doing anything? Just connect the wire, Quill. When nothing happens, you can try something else. What if something terrible happens? Then it hopefully only happens to you. Not super inspiring, dude. You must... Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Restored. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what. <sighs> Who are those big red chumps you tussled with? Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what he's done. What do you mean a code word? Fine. Brute won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Not covert enough. Must be something said in everyday conversation. Easy! We went on a dumb mission, and Quill killed us. Ooh, oh! The co-word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term Dog Report Item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. Yep. Sure thing, buddy. Dog Report Item. Something caused Nova Corps to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. Was that a crack? No, it was a pointed criticism. I am Groot. They're upset. How do you think I feel? Can we just focus on what happened here? I agree. The dog's investigation is our priority. And finding out what happened to Corel and Nikki. I wonder what else Peter's guns can do. If he'd let me look at him, I could tell you. This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. That'll do it. If I had any units, I bet that Mutt knew what we were getting into here. He did not require much convincing. That ain't good. What was it? I don't know, but I think it shook a couple of my teeth loose. There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it, Groot? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. All the blaster scorch marks are from standard issue Nova rifles. Dog report item. Belligerents are using similar weapons. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corel's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. 
You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the Churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents and it spreads through the ship. Uh, should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. Dog report item. Strange rumbling on ship continues. Maybe keep track of your items mentally? That is what I am doing. He means... <sighs> Never mind. Why does that keep happening? It may be a key piece of information in our investigation. Find it strange that this area is abandoned. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Core does? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Fine, fine. I'll make you dumb stuff. Just tell me what you want. Lady Hellbender sent a worthy beast to devour us. Oh yeah? And how would she know we were here? It is said the Monster Queen has eyes across the galaxy. Ah! Got a crick in my back because of that. What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. Kind of reminded me of me, you know? I do not. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. Oh no. Please don't. this maintenance worker, Peter Quill. No. You seem relieved. I am. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already! Now we're exploring maintenance tunnels. No way. Drax's rap sheet. He's gotta see this. Kid anyway. Look at that. I don't know. I thought he tried to save her just to impress Corel. What do you mean it worked? There's a tracker on my ship. That's not good. Seem localized to the one area. 
Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. At the time, you have since proved yourself a worthy ally. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off the placemat? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. This frigate is one of the most stable in Nova's Armada. The rumbling doesn't make sense. Perhaps Contraxia's gravity is crushing the ship. No way. We'd be dead already. You would. My frame would survive. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert... Uh, de de-vert? Rocket. Uh, the console safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. Huh. Looks like the arms are stuck without any power. I bet we could jumpstart them. How? Gotta be a power cell somewhere. Safety locked. That's what I said. Wait, did you really just use your visor to check if I was lying? Well, stop flarking around. It ain't gonna work without the arms. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! Yeah. <sighs> Definitely something up here! Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. That did it. Get back down here. Now let's see what we can... Oh, Scott. Did you notice the rumbling stopped when we flipped the reactor away from the ceiling? 
We must find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Clark! Clark Eclipse! You're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Clark is de-re-inverted the core again! We'll just have to re de re inverted back! After we take some heads! What a thrill! I saw you never end! We've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Yeah. We're aiming for big, glowing lines routing back towards the clamps in the middle. Group. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a root root boost thing. Seems eager to try the root root boost. Neat trick. Root loves being helpful. He's always helpful. Okay. I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Did that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. Oh, hey there. Anyone else feeling ready to move on? I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Well, I think you had it right the first time. You're messing up your own progress, Quill. 
Huh. What did that open? open and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. I am Groot. Groot's right. Maybe we should just call Cosmo, tell him we tried, and port the Flark out of here. It ain't our fault Scut was locked down. We will not fail in our mission. I mean, that sounds great and all, but we usually fail in our missions. Not this time. Our work here is important. Gamora, can you pry this wall open? No, I just end up wrecking my blade. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. Then you will have one. Buddy, root boost, please. Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re reinvert the core at the same time and get us moving again. You know, normally you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. Should we be concerned? Just keep an eye out for the warning signs. Mental degradation, paranoia, aggressive behavior. I feel like that's already an accurate description of our team. How will we tell? The clamps are unclamped. Slick. Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. Now that we know the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. It must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. And then get back to Cosmo for our reward. Alright, this is our floor. Gamora! These doors are sealed tight. Just look for another way out. Okay, this has potential. Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Same results either way, right? Would you rather paint with a paintbrush or a mop? Neither. I use explosives. Somebody else does the mop. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. So, is there any chance of Quill getting back together with Lady Law? <laughs> She's no lady. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the door back, so it's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quill saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark 
fucking scut! What are these frackling gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know. Looks like it's siphoning something. Something to do with those cubes? No, no. We gotta get a closer look. Peter Quill, we haven't been in this hangar before. Port item. Massive device siphoning energy from Contraxi. Don't forget the energy cubes. Dog report item. Energy stored in strange cubes. Groot! We need to check out that giant ray thing! Can you get us across? <laughs> Dog report item! We gotta destroy this thing! We don't even know what it is! Plus, we'd probably end up taking out the entire ship! Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo Jackie. Investigation lead him to believe Halo is key to Galaxy Mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. Ah, flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. Cosmo not held responsible for continuum vortex right away. Pesky Raccoon should know this. Yeah, well, all the other times I've used it, we landed safe and sound. There's trouble on the ship. Big, loud trouble. Give specific. Nova Corps has gone bananas. There was a battle, but no bodies anywhere. Oh, and there's this giant frickin' ray gun. Have Guardian found Centurion Corel? Not yet. Guardian must find her. May have answers we need.
Whoa, dudes! You guys are totally out of tune with each other. Because you're focusing on the wrong thing. Fun doesn't come from flying solo. It comes from shredding them up in perfect harmony, together. Who's with me? You said... Woo, you're up! Do your thing, Gamora! How do we fight a flying enemy? Knock them to the ground! I will finish them! Incoming attack! You struggle in vain! Time to hit him! Let us deal the final blow! This is swift! Rocket! Go wild! Ground zero for whatever's happening. We gotta find Corral, get some real answers. You have any idea where she is? I'm thinking we check her office. I don't even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, Drax spotted it on our way in. We can use the hole Nikki and I fell into when Raker's shuttle exploded. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped after her, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. We should hurry. More zealots could arrive at any moment. Drax, I'm gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. That seemed like a wasted effort. All plays need to to succeed. What New Age drivel have you been reading? We need to stop the batteries from moving, Peter. Really thought that might work. What am I missing? Rocket, can you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. Keep in mind, you may not stay dead forever. We still need a way through. I am Groot. Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Or contractia. You sure it's safe for us to be around these batteries, Rocket? Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. I just hope it does not cause an explosion. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? We were not scavenging for the same thing. Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. What kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone? The kind that should probably stay quarantined. So, any new ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing to Contraxia? A few. None of them good. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. You got this, Groot? I am Groot. Wow. At least be polite about it. Gamora, any chance you can help us here? I got this, Peter.
One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corral and Nikki. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corral survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. If only one is dead. You don't think this is slightly inappropriate given Peter's history? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met, and Corel's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Don't get cocky, Quill. Just because you won that bet in the quarantine zone. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. Uh, make sure the kid ain't floating face up somewhere. Rockets! What? Exhaust all options. Gamora, those pipes look cuttable to you? The pipes aren't the problem. Do something about the electricity and we'll talk. That'll work. <laughs> Definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. Start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? You feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. It does not look taken care of to me. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I am <sighs> Of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. Glorious! Uh, more death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. You're the one who quit! Out of frustration with Quill's lack of bleeding-like qualities. All I know is I'm not the one who quit the team. I quit because I care. I care too, man, okay? So maybe we both just have shitty ways of showing we care. Really shitty. Yeah, maybe. Dog report item. 
The rumbling continues. Poor Contraxia. Are you sure this is the right way to Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Gamora, could you, uh... You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Krell really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. Still no signs of Nikki or Corral. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Contathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Here! This is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. So, any new ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing to Contraxia? A few. None of them good. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Did Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The... the, the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Nikki's really small, right? And really clever. Right. So maybe she's got a secret way in. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean, it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12, and Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Did you know? I just figured you did and didn't want to tell us. His bewildered silence suggests he did not. This doesn't prove anything. The dates match up, so what? It's not how paternity works. Uh, it kinda is. Was Corel ovulating at the time? I don't know! We thought we were gonna die. Can we just focus on if Corel and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still... processing. For all we know, maybe this guy's her dad. Yeesh. Looks like an even bigger deadbeat than you. 
Looks like Ronan the Accuser to me. Indeed. All I'm saying is clearly I'm not the only candidate. Deadbeat Ronan guy also fits the bill. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. So, I'm 15. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. It's just some confused kid projecting stuff. Just some confused kid? That is no way to talk about your daughter. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Scrawl fan. Name someone who is a Scrawl fan. <laughs> Good point. I've seen this before. It used to belong to Corel. So the kid's a thief, too? Or Corel passed it on to her. I can confirm that parents often leave things to their spawn. It grumbles more incessantly than a Catathian without breakfast. We really need to get you something to eat. Huh. Not a bad workbench. For a kid. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Doing, doing, Okay, done. where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Guys. Could we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concerned while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Ditto! Gotta admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. Elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? So much for your girlfriend meeting us. It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am clearly starting to hate this elevator. Death has come! I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Next stop, Corel's office. I just realized something. Come on. Just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. 
Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Maybe we should just ask someone for directions? Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer, see if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Any luck getting in? Things pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki? Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. <sighs> oh, appealing. Are you seriously focused on food right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... It was being literal. This must be Corell's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Hala, right? When the Shatari... Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki will be hanging on the wall. Well, this is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Kree. Corel had a real artistic side to her. She was the only Kree I ever knew who painted and played music. I used to think it was a sign of weakness, but... No, it's a strength. Definitely a sign of strength. I wonder if Nikki made this. I am Groot. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Hey, Quill, 
You interested in seeing this or not? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so looks like the church is... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. The warrior does not hesitate, Peter Quill. Okay, let's be careful. He says after you. <laughs> Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So, how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless he broke it. I didn't break it. I have never understood how so much information can be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Man, what I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. Wouldn't get my hopes up. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. 
How am I supposed to know why the poop ain't picking up? Keep trying. Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. Remnants of data. Uh, let it go. Just let him think there are ghosts. should have interrogated the robot priest. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. wasn't too bad. Thank you. It was either that or reloading. <laughs> <laughs> All of this could have been avoided had the rope not broken the glass. There's an open panel up in the corner there. Pretty sure that's our exit. Perfect. So we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. Pretty sure they can temporarily support our puny mortal frames. Well, mine anyway. Are you cool? And yours too, yes. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Hey, I ain't the one that's eager to know what happened. Let Quill see for himself. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. We're in! You're kidding. Well, yes! Guys, we're in! Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force, a, a comprehensive, comprehensive guide to meditation. meditation. And managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corel, everything by the book. Yeah. Go to the criminal records, Quilt. Ugh. 
We already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So? It might have useful info or something. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. Hey, Wall. Then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. It's a list of bucket heads. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. I am Groot. You? <laughs> A gold dome? Over my dead body, buddy. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Look, it's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Isn't this your friend from the bar? Yep. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty Yondu put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the Buckethead's got a lot of. Gotta be something in here. Isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. What is the footage from? The signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. What are you doing? 
you went in after we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I'm Groot. No, you're a Lotus Scud. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices. I had to check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Okay, that is really not cool. What do you mean he's not picking up? Come! The Matriarch awaits. Scythian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on! Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? <sighs> can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna- Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say- Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing people? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone, 
Lancer, take it out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. And what was gained? Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. You can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch, the Divine Vessel, I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him! What? <laughs> Come. Join me! If I intended to kill you... Wow, oh, oh, okay, that, uh, that is a cool trick. Will you explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even! Sacrosanct yourself, all powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um. You, uh. You, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh. control energy. Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this uh, faith energy is, is uh, really, really powerful and uh, um, must be hard to... Uh, hold on a sec. You, uh, um, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a, uh, you have something on your face. My what? Yeah, it's like this golden oily thing on your, you know, face. I was disfigured during an explosion. One of the many tragedies for which I blame him. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your fascinating account of, you know... Uh, you were saying something about him? It seems super important. Right, right, uh, your father. Uncle. Son? My son died of disease. The him I was referring to was someone else. The first divine vessel of this church. Before it was even a church. An absurd faith healer. Bathed in gold and light and wielding unfathomable power. He saw my loss. Our collective loss. Knew its cause, but refused to reverse it. Because he, personally, never felt what we feel. That is why I founded this church. To heal, to give hope to those who have lost everything. <clears throat> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> the 
<laughs> right? Yes. Good point, Brute. He is totally into his spiritual mission. But I think I figured out all of this. Those were some pretty sweet holograms. <laughs> I think even the world might look like jealous. I mean, they must have cost you an arm and a... Well, another arm. <laughs> right? And this? That's a pretty sweet trick, too. But everybody's got anti-grav these days. Oh, and let me guess. You got your own personal shield generator tucked under that territory, don't you? <laughs> a little makeup, some color coordination. Oh, loving the gold laser light show, by the way. And pretty sweet little scam. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Well, good for you. Hey, I get it, man. You gotta sell the brand before you stage the miracle. Oh, man, this one time on Rigel 3... You uh, think you're all very clever. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matrix. Tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milan. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodan. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Will's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. Die, 
Peter, you can save her. I promise. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I resist? There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. 
Drax, you said that would stay between us. <laughs> That's your first mistake, Mrs. Quill. Oh, yeah. He's the biggest gossip of us all. You've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for grandkids, Peter. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you. Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? I can't believe you still have this. Craftsmanship is shoddy at best. Be nice, Drax. Peter tried. I'd have wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, seriously, Mom. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. Peter. What are you doing? I'm sorry. This isn't funny. Put that down, young man. I told you to put it down. <laughs> of course. This isn't right. better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? I don't remember taking this off or hanging it up. Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today! Did you forget again? Dad? Dad? Uh, no, no, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. So, can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Dad? Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? 
wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Galaxy's greatest dad. Is that supposed to be me? Obviously. We are still on your mom's ship, right? Of course. You're so weird. Weird doesn't begin to cover it. Don't forget the present. Never did get one of these, but if anyone deserved it, it was Corel. Is this your hat? You gave it to me, remember? Oh, right. I do not remember this. Hey, you still have Chewie? Yeah, he's captain of the Milano now. Really? Well, congrats, I guess. The present we got is in my room, I think. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. This. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, put it with the others. Great, a gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On nowhere. Remember that artist alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Lar? Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's Ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. What's going on? Why is the door locked? Okay, 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 okay. I'm ready. Let her in. Surprise! Peter? What are you two? No! no! <clears throat> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. And that thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Out of here! No! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! no! This is what did you do to us? You aren't in mind games! I'm gonna feel you later! Focus on Raker! Get your head in the fight! Drop of Gamora! Don't 
To the bone! If we take their prophet's head, maybe the rest will stand down! Only one way to find out! This Latinard's sucking up all my shots! shots of them and it's so much fun but if we lose our focus if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down we're done who's with me victory is ours let's do this feel bit feel my rock these guys win the prize for creepiest costumes that's supposed to intimidate us the phony freak scale Kick their butt! Meet your maker! Take their us for a cool experience! Mars Commander number one! Thou shalt stab! We're easy targets down here. How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? Here <laughs> Your way up. How thoughtful. Laura, wait! Tie him down! Drax, destroy! I'm Drax really zone. busy my ship right now! Relax! We'll call her soon! Just don't get shot!
That's bad. That's very bad. We need an exit. There ain't one. Then make one. Well, use your head. I'm thinking. Use the thing attached to your head. Drax, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Because we're about to die. Right. Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa! Whoa. Drax! Drax, man, uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingly. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Mining sector. No. The Grand Unifier said Lictor drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. Right there's good. Done. So, this is all about bringing back the dead. Half the people I've ever known are dead, and you don't see me trying to burn the world. I would raise planets for a chance to restore my Camaria. You kind of did. No. That was for me. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There, that's our exit. Okay, we got this. Hey, look! These idiots don't see us yet. No time to stand around fighting these dudes. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. You mean the faster we find the Milano? We're not leaving her! Give up their room. No! Gobbins! He was gonna be the sixth guardian! His belief! Save him from death! Crap, it's a dead end. Now what? Up there! That cat walks our way out. If we can get across that gap... Fuck. We got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy! Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. That pillar's top-heavy. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong 
way, Drax! What the Scott, man? Drax! What is it you can't have it, Batu? That was our- it Doesn't matter! We got an exit! Let's go! Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad, they're my pieces. We should keep moving! <clears throat> this doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this some kind of torture chamber? You look peaceful. Death can be very peaceful. It's like they're getting their lives sucked out. Or their faith. It's like they ain't worth nothing. Hey, uh... Are you okay? I might as well be back on Half-World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen, and they paled the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... Lila. I stand looking at him. Let's get the flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gubbin sent us this he way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually. <gasps> Let's just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, the shortcut. Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. I want to get off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> we'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. Alive. But there was something else there too. Exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. 
Probably fed her alive around. About Corral. I know she's Fuck it, Scott. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Alright, let's split before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. Sucks, and I hate it. Yeah. Peter, there's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. Not now, but... This looks like something Rocket would like. <clears throat> Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right. About my rays. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Uh, we need to get through here, but the stupid Faith Tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? We've gotta find something compatible with that power port. Maybe I can just zap it? Runs on Faith. Unless your guns can squeeze out some Faith juice, we're screwed. <sighs> Got a lazy death bot here. This battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. I'm just gonna... Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up! Looks like it worked! Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax. You coming, man? Drax? Hello? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. What is that? Yeah, that is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. We need to keep pushing forward. Our luck's gotta change. I mean, once you shoot your own mom in the face, things have to go up from there, right? <laughs> Peter... Flock. Whatever that is, it's really close. Millions of them. At least. I am 
Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. And we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Ha! Who the fuck can we get the shield back up? See what we can do with this scud. Come on. Come on. You sure you can? Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? It was. No! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the field. What the scud? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! What is all this? Fuel depot for the skips, looks like! on the field only want to take us out. So if we don't dance together, this whole fight will be a rout. Who's with me? Feel my rout! Bring it on! Let's... Watch your back! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! They're trying to trap us here! This won't hurt! Much! Why do they fight us? Because they're a loony space cult? Pizza, what is all this? Yes, I bet they're powering our Hurry. race batteries! We don't want to be here for reinforcements! We gotta outgun them! Or outgun them! 
them all anyways. Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship, and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, Whiskers? an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But if we're too excited, this love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Die, things! Somewhere. We got a problem? Uh, no, no problem. Groot, you do the honors. <laughs> yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her, that's what I'm- I'm Groot. Yeah, we can hear it. Reed Flark, how's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! Ah! I hate everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got little legs! Lift your feet, Peter Quill! Jump! What? Jump! 
Get here any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best thing to do. And our window to meter is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect it. Yep, I've got to run in silence. But who knows what kind of sensors Raker has on this thing. Tracks! I 
Go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from!
I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo-priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D-E-D! -E -D, dead! Why is your group? I rather Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. You should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. I am Groot. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Do I get a raise for this? Just browsing, huh? All right, let's go. This isn't a bomb. Hey, don't touch that. Turn it the wrong way and it could blow. Seriously? <laughs> You're so gullible, Quill. It ain't gonna blow. I mean, its core is definitely volatile as scut and could melt a hole through the floor if an idiot decided to take it apart. But it's practically harmless. Just needs some extra repulsion coils to manage the flaw in the photonic phase capacitor. But will it damage the ship? Eh, probably not. You really go bananas for this stuff, don't you? What the flark is a banana? It's this yellow fruit on Earth that looks like a... Never mind. The point is, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Hey, I ain't obsessed. Tech just makes sense, okay? There's order to it. Makes me feel calm. That and it doesn't rip you off like some filthy biologicals I've known. How are you not obsessed with tech? Look at this place. Your room is... Wow, I mean... Wow. What's wrong with my room? 
You don't even have a bed. I got a bed. It's buried under junk. I prefer to call it a soft shelf. <laughs> I just don't know how any of this could make you feel calm. I feel stressed just looking at it, and that's coming from me. If Groot didn't do the laundry, I'd probably never have clean clothes. Like I said, tech makes sense. Why do you care so much? I don't know. Because you're such a, a perfectionist. I ain't a perfectionist. The lead scientist on Half-World, Rakmar, he... Oh, he was a perfectionist. A horrible freebag and scutman and flark flark and son of a chog! What did he do to you? Oh, what any self-disrespecting scientist does, started a super soldier program. Except instead of using one of their precious blue skins, they decided to experiment on us. Animals. Lesser life forms. But it wasn't enough that he ripped us apart and jammed us full of cybernetic implants. Oh no. He'd make us perform tasks over and over and over. Lab rats. And if we flarked up, if it wasn't exactly right or up to his flarkin' standards, <laughs> he'd shock us into unconsciousness. Holy crap. Rocket, I... It is what it is, Quill. Groot says fixing stuff is my way to make the memory of that stressed feeling go away. Make me feel in control again when I get overwhelmed. I don't know. He's probably right. <laughs> you got grifted. Laugh it up, star pants. <clears throat> I mean, that's terrible. Who was it? A chick. <clears throat> really? I didn't even know you liked girls. She wasn't just any girl. She was a chick. One of them Voldai. Bird people. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she sounds super special. Her name was Tella, and she wasn't just special. She made me feel special, like I wasn't some freak show science experiment. She bought me a drink. She didn't even flinch at my implants. I just escaped Half-World, and I fell for her. Hard. We've all been there, buddy. Half the girls I've dated have tried to kill me. You should see the scars. Except I didn't know no better. I thought Tella was my friend. And then one day, she convinces me to hack a ship for her. You know, kid stuff. Wasn't even nothing in it for me, I just wanted to impress her. Oh, <laughs> yep. Definitely been there. Reminds me of this one time with Vralnexian. We, uh... You mind? Anyways, I hacked the ship all right. I hacked it to Scut. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of Badoon thugs. Turns out they own the ship. While they focused on me, she took off in the ship that I hacked for her. She left me there, Quill. Like I was trash. <sighs> That's the day I learned to think twice before trusting biologicals. They're not all like Groot. Groot really is the first one to treat you right, isn't he? He's my family. You're lucky to have found each other. Especially after... Everything. And then some. I hope you'll see us as family one day, too. Peter, we need to... Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh. I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I 
Can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... Badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Krell I remember. I tried to convince Yanyu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying. So I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Deadliest woman in the galaxy, a misnomer. An accurate misnomer. I see you have discovered my criminal record. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean... It's your rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan, or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Thanos! Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player 2 is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? 
Really? After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened. It's just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived this cycle. Why? I... maybe... know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However... After the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The Rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It was not my place to judge. So... how'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel, but that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. What is wrong with him? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Hey, dude. How are you feeling? Busy. It's okay. It's just the two of us in here. We all saw a pretty messed up scut in that promise thing. I'm fine, Quill. There ain't nothing some Cree kid can promise that won't make my skin crawl. Okay. But what did you see? Was it Lila? Doesn't matter. I knew it was fake soon as she got into my head.
Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. According to this, the collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. <clears throat> Can we help you? Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just... Curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some. some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it? Still... active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am Groot. He says he knows, and he's grateful. One day, we'll find the right language package. Watch it! Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? 
Who's the game? You feel the beat, call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. I, well, am I am the warrior. The warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? I can't exactly complete a routine if you're walking about. In case it wasn't clear, you're in the way. <laughs> I need space. Could you just take a few steps back? Peter, make room. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. These are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <coughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends her regards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Hit them hard and give no quarter. 
There is nothing on that garbage scout or his salvage. We're taking fire! Got a piece of that guy! These ships ain't dying fast enough! Fools! You're facing the spiders in the galaxy! Tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, 
That's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous domeheads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Hi, Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How, How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, everything. Oh, Flark you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but can vote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Thank, Thank you. you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. I suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mine will be listed there. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Due, Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Please state your celestial body or artificial, artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, <laughs> Not but today. look at this scut. It's hilarious. Nope. No touching. Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Hands up, boys. So that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Hey! Wallberry, got any ideas? Scroll down, scroll down! Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. This menu again? Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Nova, Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds terrible. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. Corbin Day is missing in action and, and unable to respond. Heard of him. He was in the Resistance. So much for near-perfect algorithms, helpline. Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and assumed dead. 
Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. If you pick Creekwill, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. What are you doing, Starpants? I agree with the rodent. Your language choice makes no strategic sense. I am Groot. Groot says you should pick the top option. I am Groot. Groot says you should hurry up. A little help, Groot. I am Groot. Miss Reddit. Ugh, ignore Groot. Just pick things at random until it works, Quill. Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, and you cannot resume a cancelled application. This is pointless and slow. Go back and change the language, Peter. What? Nuh uh, not letting you do that, Quill. You mean the past crime button looks lonely? Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Nah. No. Connecting, Connecting to banking, banking services. services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners, Gardeners of the Galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, World Mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9. Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I am Groot. At least abomination sounds scary. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as... Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause! Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Jatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. At the time, there were numerous practical reasons to remain within the Tranta system. Unfortunately... But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? 
We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... it is not magical. But, but yes. yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, All Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Petra's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed him. Guys, 
It's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Right. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find the promise must be freely accepted. Oh, oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff? Then what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. <sighs> Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You... Forgot your toast. Hey, crew, do you remember if I left the sensor notes on standby earlier? <laughs> because I told you about it. I said, crew, remind me of something, something, the sensor notes. Well, <laughs> complete. Yeah, I remembered most of it, but I'm missing the middle part. Ah, I should have written it down. I should probably learn a second language at some point. Like French. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh... Not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. What kind of tea is that? I am Groot. Ah, good one! Uh, uh, maybe you can show me? I am Groot. Oh, God. Really? I cannot tell if that's cannibalism. Hmm? You know what? I think I'll pass on the leaf juice, but I'm glad to see you've got everything under control. At least one of us does. Speak for yourself! <sighs> hey, Groot, did you ever find the pack of slacking clamps I lost under your fern? My Groot. I don't know, a fern looking fern. Why would I check the leaf undersides? I swear. Mora? You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world might aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? Hey, Musclehead! Did you ever run 
done that weapon system analysis you wanted to do. Drax, you hear me? I am hurt. Not feeling well ain't no excuse to ignore me. Really? How did you... I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. What the f... That's how you got in? And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird air. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill! Do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! <laughs> Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki!
Beast Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Order of my death! Drax! Anybody? What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! We can't keep running away from our problems. We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. Leave me alone! Freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I'm less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because that's murder, man! If you kill them, then they can't accept the promise. The Matriarch will bring them back, along with everyone else. That is her promise. Right, right. She'll... she'll bring them back. I just... thought you were trying to turn a new leaf. I do not have foliage. I'm just saying... Think of the example you're setting for Camaria. The Matriarch's promise requires uncompromising faith. Something you would understand if you had truly accepted it. The Dra Drax, I swear. Choose well, Peter Quill. We've landed on the Matriarch's planet. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Crap, 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 crap. Please let there be calms. Please let there be calms. Also, please be okay. Oh, God. What of Drax? No! Stop, you can't think like that. They're probably fine. I just need to make sure. Somehow. Hello? Anyone? Peter? Are you good? Is there a reason why Muscles locked me in my room? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. 
But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you excited, Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait, are you happy can we chew a hole through the wall or not? No, but also maybe, if it means we get out of this. It's locked, Peter. It was worth a try. Uh, so guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Goot. We owe you one. <laughs> Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin' waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Clark Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. I just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's got to extract your butt out of there. I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Ugh. Groot says let's go get him. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey! I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! This stuff is gross! Ah! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah! Wet fur is the worst! Ah! Ah! it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax!
You know, for someone who's been here before, you ain't saying a whole lot. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest, especially pacifists. Yeah, I bet they looked uncomfortable. Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Cree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after, but never mind. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him. We all are. Found Drax! Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on, the creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad, but no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. 
The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's going to help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. More like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little Fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it only happens... Watch out! Double floor! Yeah. Alice didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're... Whoa! This is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay. Let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. <laughs> Stir Fry. That's a good one. You've been smiling a lot more, Gamora. See, I told you being in a group would help. I yeah! Giddy up! Crap! It was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. <laughs> you are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. I spotted a little mousy hole here. We could try using that huge crystal somehow. Maybe. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket. Just stay to the side and try not to die. The priests never talk about the Japanese kids. No, the game is it. This thing about the no one is dirty. Dr. Lord, problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what? Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff. He saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb planet is. Oh, Green Mini loves you all so much. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. 
Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis, can we be worried about this fog? Take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the Forkin deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am Groot. Oh, no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotati root. Why were you here again, Gamora? It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this cut-flacking cave of flarkin' wonders. What's going on? Sir Groot feels the intrusive eyes watching us. Don't worry, my Flora, I feel them too. What the floor? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Looks like there's something on the other side. 
two bad tracks out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back. I don't think this is the one where he kills me. Everyone all right? That explosion was bigger than I thought. All yours, Quill. Watch out for the poison. What do you mean, poison? Take a look for yourself. I'll be out here. Try not to die. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. I see something, but it's foggy. Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? <laughs> there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shut. I spy with my little eye. Screaming, he's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. Huh. There's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. I see something, but it's foggy. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? huh? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? I spy with my little eye. Huh. Can you give me another ride, Groot? <laughs> That's great right there. See that, Green Mini? That's where we need to be. Mora, you do it. Raise that thing, Groot. <laughs> right about there. <laughs> Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. I see something, but it's foggy. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then. I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face... More rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too.
will each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Dunno, I just do. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. If you only die from a great fall in two timelines, this probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. You're like my angry little through line. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. of a thousand lies, I think. You're gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up the statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill! Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do. I'm done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're about to do! Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore! Not helping! Groot, can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Did she or did she? Rocket, don't! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the 
Matriarch. This is the one where I fail. the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again? Well, he saved Drax after you almost killed us all. How'd a gun do that? Show him, Star Guy. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Bag me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. I totally laid out 
but that psycho soldier! Ha! Quill's killing movie cops now! The music that I want your butt! Didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's... Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More of them rock monsters! Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Move it! <laughs> about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora.
If we do cure Drax, we should make up a story about how we battled some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Um, guys... I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. It's like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How did we get this throw down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! Just a plant plant, not a you. And we ain't got much choice. Crap! It must be stuck somewhere. Still holding on. What would you guys do without me? Yeah! Where, oh where, would we get another gun? Help! Help! We must have missed one. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? You're the almighty Star-Lord. Did you say something? Uh, nope. Hey, Club Lady, exactly how many times you seen us die horribly? Bullseye! Bullseye? I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Any of those realities where we just leave the rocket here? Hypothetically speaking. Oh, yeah. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe them in your sleep. What's your hurry? Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. Less wet. I'm zero percent interested. All right, I'm on it. Stupid plant. Still stuck. You know. Sorry. Keep at it. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation: Rocket, don't. Rocket, don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably going to encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fears, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. I'm... Easy, Green Me. They'll figure it out. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. That's why they call me Star-Lord. Anyone else? 
still suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, eh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. Groot, let's see about crossing. Says no way, not without me. Glad someone's got my back. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? Let my rocket go! Huh? I'm Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like going off. Thanks, buddy. I am no, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! I am Groot. What did I just say? Oh, little Fuzzy, you'll feel better if you let it all go. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our skins on rocks? Rocket, something's wrong with my visor. I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not. But let's not tell Star Guy. I can hear you! getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic. Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Now it gets loopy? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. 
watch them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball I thing. can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Second Art. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Nova Corps. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. All I hear is noise. Too much noise. Yeah, Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. Yes. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Chitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. Something isn't right. There's something we're supposed to do. I'm with Groot. It's Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. Ain't no time to blow. It's like Gamora said. Something's messing with us. Hit on a swivel! It depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's super rare! Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Do you all 
feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for? No way. But I do know it won't be very easy, especially not for you. Timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Mind helping us across? I am Uh oh. You hear that? Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Okay. One last time! Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me. Just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And yeah, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain, but, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us, and that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better You see what I 
needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matriarch's lies getting bolder and reading his mind! Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. 
If it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? In a very small, fractured universe, Star Guy ends up being as charming as he thinks he is. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking Cave of Doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. That's not always true, but this time? Yes. I think I'm one of the good ones. Mantis, are you sure you can't just tell us what to expect? Oh no, every time I do, this goes very, very badly. Trust me. I think I know what I'm doing. And what are you doing? Navigating the sea of possibility. Oh, I like how that sounds. I should write that down. Anyone have paper? No. no. <laughs> the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Off the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. What's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Craft. No. Wait. In Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock. That's it. The Golden God guy. Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine, whatever. Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker, not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See, friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. 
And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure? You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greenie can never stop digging. <laughs> until he accepts what's there. You're not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> 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 we got a runner! After a spotlight! I don't know this part! Whoa, okay. That's a long way down. I don't think that matters here. Ladies first? Rank before gender. Please be something soft down the... Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie, don't you fools you want to lend a hand? You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. Holds no sway here. Oh, good. 
Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. Chance to have his family back. No wonder Drax couldn't reject the promise. Hey, we've all lost stuff. Some of us just know a con when we see one. Drax! Hell the... It doesn't matter! Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. Board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, left, left. Huh? You can your friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. <laughs> it is you who forced me to follow this fantasy of falsehood. I am your father. I've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! This is not in Kansas anymore. Mark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which... Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. Mm. 
<laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Man. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. Do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. All right, she can destroy just like last time. Make haste. The mom means to snap shut. I cannot contain it. This charade. Cover your eye holes. Not good. Clark and nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Oh, wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or... Whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. And you can't pay me if we're both dead. Mantis! A little help here! Ow! Rocket! There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I've ever known. Brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were.
My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> eh, that first fight don't count. We got muscles and the bug lady now. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. 
So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happened upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Pharrell was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. We could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Her echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. His feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does 
that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey! That nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <gasps> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh? Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time. We all get a drink together, buddy. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle.
All right, it's all yours. One fine tech upgrade. I've made it foolproof, just for you. As long as it's not a bomb. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Rodent, you mentioned the Madonna riding my shoulders through the caves. Yep. There was more than one cave then. You really don't remember anything at all? I have a vague recollection of dampness. Yep, that would be the caves.
Please, recount your adventures in the caves of Lamentis. I should be informed of what I cannot recall. Well, we found you in the village and Mantis knocked you out. Then we went down the caves until we found the cocoon. Whoa there, you missed all the best parts. Like when Groot slapped the ancient tree god. <laughs> I am Groot. Yeah, it was in the way. A tree for a god. Impressive. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save her girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the flarkers pay for what they did to nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff.
Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Let's be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. The Rift's the end of the known universe, but don't see how it figures into anything. Or, uh, Rocket, you I don't mean to pry, so I'll let you. The promise is to be realized here. The bird will be flocking in to witness it. Are we the only new arrivals? We must be late. Anybody see any this way to the fulfillment signs? Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Oh, That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used a backup telepath. If Cosmo is on their side, getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. The Church believes they have already won. We must use that to our advantage. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. Kinda 
regretting what we're going to see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased by the tick. Their superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. Lousy fun blockers! Get ready to die! Everyone quiet. We got company. We cannot keep wandering into combat! It's gonna be a slog all the way! batteries the deeper we go. 100 units says they're tied to the fulfillment. Priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. When we are done here, we will need to tell a reference about the adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. Like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should find a way over to check. What? Why me? Ain't you the leader of this outfit? didn't work. Look, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. <laughs> I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlike, we're all shot. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. Adam Warlock. Am 
might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. <laughs> you know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Man, I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. None of this makes any sense, but Mantis gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes little sense. Exactly! I think. Sweet, he can deal with his evil twin. Huh. Hey, check it out! We got bad guys! They'll be dropping like flies soon enough! Deadliest coming and coming! This looks like a dead end. For some more than others. What do you think they did with all the nobodies? They were either below us, awaiting the fulfillment, or they have been transported to Sacrosite. To join the other millions. Chanting in that massive cylinder. Mm, still not as scary as Drax's Katathian war songs when he's taking a shower. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust Groot out of there. I am Groot. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me now. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Rush of tracks! <laughs> 
His belief could not save him from death. Wintima, you'll struggle in vain. The blockhead can't up his buddies. Then put him in a body bag. Good. Gamora, wait! Hold on a sec! Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? He is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nutjob cult leader. Yes.
tactfully executed maneuver! About time! Smoke the rocket! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Huh. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Drax, I have been eager to topple something over. Gamora? How am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. How is that the time for the? <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. you to a perilous precipice, old friend. How? Oh. It can't be. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Peter Quill! What's next, Peter? Stand ready! Just one! 
so magnificent as this. <laughs> it is magnificent, Drax. Unbelievably, insanely magnificent. <laughs> right? Like a fork and supernova. So stay on track, keep your eyes open, and shoot for the stars. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Nice Will. one, Peter! Let me in! to the next room! Been too long since I blew something up! look on his face. It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rare. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are! There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos! Where? It should be, uh... right below us. I am Groot! Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. We need to be on the other side of this thing. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's 
one way down. The best way. Look, they're still at it. At least our guys are still winning. Sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. What's so special about Goldie anyway? Yeah, he's strong. What good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? Could you stop a turbulent ocean with your bullets? Yes. You gonna make us a bridge or what? <laughs> Who cares if he didn't ask? This ain't no time to be polite, you big stump. Oh, you gotta be barking kidding me. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with my blades. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that was a rocket. You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No, more likely Magus will use the ritual's power to drain the life energies of all in attendance. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it. Battle must be tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of nowhere's charm. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Get it! No whip beast is being exposed to the promise! No! them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> 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 
You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so flark? Attacking scratch snatchers. Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. 
I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlos before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. Earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? <sighs> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. She knows what she's doing or... When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was... Eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. You wish to poison his food supply. Yeah, we're the food supply, so... No. We'll kill it the old-fashioned way. Part of the galaxy. Cosmo is owing for Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security, where his parts are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Parts two. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. Watch the mines! Gamora, cut him down! Drax, shut him down! If it weren't for that fancy pants Nova core armor, I swear! You all but said it! Let's kill this guy! This one! security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. And you know that. I have seen them many times. Little help, people. Readily. Ugh, I have brain chunks stuck between the ridges of my boots. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. I've been thinking. Yeah, the, the nobodies look out for themselves, but they're also paranoid. That's an understatement. So maybe at the first sign of trouble, some of them jumped in their ships and got out. You underestimate their greed. They could promise us power and eternal life. Rax, over here! Hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Cool, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Oh, you so fell for it. 
gray lung. Did you guys know? <gasps> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere, looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. It used to. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? Hey, Gru, think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems impertinent to the task. I want to get a look from up high. This place smells weird. It's the brains. It goes sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and, I don't know, something else. Korea. What's that? The waste product of a large Catapian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. No, oof, got a crick in my back because of that. <laughs> One way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? What? My baby. You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. I am good. Yeah, the Milano's great, but a ship ain't the same. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Ah. Uh. It hurts to see all my investments go up in smoke. What investments? Couple seed fundings into illegal weapons research, funneled some units into goon training, couple of bets. You had units this whole time? No, they were invested. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex, one of the most powerful artifacts in the known universe. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. You know there is a wheel. I saw no wheel. Yeah, there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scum. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. Busters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Today, I, I can't am wait to destroyer. take him down! Time the Awesome around! Bye bye, Nova Corps nerd! Wait a 
knock some sense into him. Dodge this! Guns don't kill people! I want to see your face on a wanted poster! We can't keep getting pulled into skirmishes! Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we... Wait for Warlock to catch up? And the Bug Lady. Our plan requires a great many people. You said saving the galaxy would be easy. I do not recall anyone making that claim. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Trying not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Careful. It gets a little. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scottfuckers! Fix that cuckoo Nova Corner's clock! Wait a knock some sense into him! We'll tear down this church, wizard! Just try not to break the vortex when we get in there! Put down another fanatic! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Feels like we're up against the entire army! Their focus should be divided between here and the of breathing room, right? Thinking. 
I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Engraving an explosive is imprudent. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be saved, Peter Quill. Let's not use the F word. We're not gonna lose her again. Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out.
Nikki! It's okay, I got you. Get your hands off me! Why do you insist on ruining everything? If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? The Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle- I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. They ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dastin Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercula system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. Power down. Hell yeah, Nova Core. The world mine must have. Say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's gotta be a way. Yes. We overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's gotta have something. Rocket, anything? What about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am so would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Drax. 
You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond... Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? Guardians of the gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, nope, think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Maklufor! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Oh, 
bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> laughing that's good it's just it's perfect this is us this is how we park <laughs> well this is how quo parks anyways <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day unless of course fin fang foom devours us whole <laughs> <laughs> hey whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first <laughs> shall we <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Uh, listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So draju to pluk, heldagor morgath. Soul toss flounder god. Really? We're doing this? Soul toss flounder god. Targat gone at coal. Vol malki ultath. Go thine coal gal mak. line mean, Drax? Soltat Flander Gath. It means we will be victorious. What'll it be this time? Confetti jet boots? Hey, Starscut. I hope you appreciate me more after all that. Finally found a way out of this mess, Cammy. All thanks to you. <laughs> Milano isn't going to self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I gotta tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. All set to take on Foom Rocket? They say that a single one of his claws is bigger than a fully grown man. Considering how those legends about Hellbender turned out, that dragon's probably as tall as Groot. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. Ready for our biggest battle yet? I am Groot. He was more worried about us killing each other over the past few cycles. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. I bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. Ever fought a dragon before? Sounds fun, actually. Not only in the arcade. That's good enough, right? Despite your best efforts, you are an honorable man, Peter Quill. Thanks, Drax. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit witches, it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me, or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. 
And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no boom poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those who came. The legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. Milano's got some new scars to wreck them. Watch out! This place is falling apart. <laughs> we did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mach 4. Like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So on this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? <sighs> Maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Oh, these cliffs grow increasingly unstable with every impact. Perfect! The sky is literally falling here! Looks like a dead end. Glorious dead end. Gotta admit, I kinda love how excited you are about all this. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I should have taken as the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, Galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. See? Nothing to fear. Uh, yeah. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> you can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. Does it have big, scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so, how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Fu? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here wanting to die, didn't they? Most Katathians believe that in order to reach paradise, Ultaf, you must live a life filled with purpose. Failure to achieve this results in banishment to Sarduth. The bad place. It is not a place. It is non-existence. Kinda like what's gonna happen to the whole galaxy if the church gets its way. Indeed.
Look, I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? Who top fields yeah! must wait? Great! Danger close, Rocket! Sick of tracks! Ugh! It's like a yeah! pile of pimples! What is a pimple? You got this one! Any last word? We really don't have time to get rid of my head! Fell back of a frozen cat thing! That one's tapping out! Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I think. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping until we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. Legends say that Fin Fang Foom can will himself from one dimension to another. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foo's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. The legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maku's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. The warmer planet to call home? Perhaps the eggless magma ocean of Corberus 6. Or the perpetual razor glass storms of Celestai Prime. All right, all right. Could have been worse. Need your help, Drax. I am not the one to ask. Please ho! Gladly. <laughs> Get a load of them claw marks. He's gotta be Fooms, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. Go ahead, Gamora. Hey, D, lob it. Certainly. Where shall I move it? Bring that thing, Drax. Easily. Where shall I put it? I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? Come on, it's not so bad. His fleshy frame would make a poor instrument of demolition. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we got ourselves a path. Oh, come on. Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? You mean our quarantine zone bust? That was not the Great Hunt, it was a regular hunt. Drax. I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom, 
Then we'd probably be dead. We so weren't ready before. I was born ready. Yeah. Gonna be okay because if we end up stranded here, the Milano should be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. And even if we do end up stranded, we shall live like kings off the meat of Fin Fang Foom. Everyone, get ready. There's something up ahead. I'm pretty sure it sees us. Whatever it is. Great. More Foom food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. I for one am ready for you, Finn Fang Foom! Thank Hala, this isn't a scout mission! Lousy crunch slurpers won't stop spitting at us! Kinda reminds me of you when you eat! things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Foom, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Then let us hope we are not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through. We're in a rush, apparently. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not, but smart ones do. Mind helping us across? I'm My sister used to paint places like this. Hell worlds? Frozen landscapes. You expect me to believe that Nebula, scourge of a hundred worlds, liked to paint pretty pictures? They weren't pretty. They were sad. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Oh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Well played, Kakaranthara! an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax, we're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to get the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket, are you okay? Do you want it? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me right now. Time for a feat of strength, Drax. I shall enjoy this. Let's 
see that sword? Loving the initiative. So tragio to cloak. So tragio to cloak. Held a door more gaff. So tas flounder gaff. Any ideas, Gamora? I could probably get you up there. This is definitely in Drax's wheelhouse. Shall fall. <laughs> nice. Who will know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. We are the perfect team. Meh. We're okay. That's high praise coming from murder, Mom. Guys, there's so much at stake right now. I mean, if we don't get Lady Hellbender on our side, if we don't find a way to take down Raker and his flarked up church... We know, Peter! Staying positive, making the most of this adventure, it helps take the edge off by lessening the sense of crushing responsibility we've all taken on here. I will miss your terrible speeches, Peter Quill, when Fin Fang Foom devours us all. Assuming we live that long. So Draju to Plug, Heldagor Morgath, Soltas Flander Gath. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links. Make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion, or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. Fine-ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No, I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I- We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Yes! Or going, keep going! You fucking rock! Fast! 
Nasty teeth, purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What? I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Melt that one, too. guns would work back there. They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. What? Ugh! Well, does it burn? It, it's so... gloopy! Good thing that rock tried to murder us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. How do we get across this gunk? Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a heat blob. Captain Heat Blob. Nope. Nope. It ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Groot's practically naked. Groot don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. I'm Groot. Hey, we're all flammable. Where'd they go? What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Where'd he go? See? He just wanted to... Hey, now we know they're all around us. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Keep your eyes peeled. You smell an ambush. Yeah. 
Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. But we are clearly still being stalked by the snow geese. Burn, baby, burn! Ha <laughs> ha! Good night! I'm never gonna get tired of that. Fruit says those plants deserve it. Keep it up! I'm actually starting to get warm. I am Groot. Yeah, I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. Ah! It burns! Groot says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. Snow monkeys. When they go. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling when they go. When they go. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. up on the menu. Rocket! Do your... My 
Mud still hurts from that slide. <laughs> that Listen, this isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, one little mistake is gonna bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream! Who's with me? We are! You sit. Is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, group, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not the unit of measurement. Group knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. We're using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. They say Fin Fang Foom is a foe unlike any one could imagine. I mean, he's basically a dragon from the fairy tales on Earth. Ridiculous. This is not some Terran tale of fairies. He is a great reptilian beast, gifted with flight and a rage so hot he breathes fire. Right. My mistake. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some 
Sakaar and spirits. Uncharacteristically optimistic for you. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a funhouse of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. When to go? Right. And we beat them all. I'd back this team against anything. Including Fin Fang Foo. Right. Except not. Because we're not killing him. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this Foo? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for Foom. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. We've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. like the rest of these saps. Perhaps had we arrived sooner, we would have been able to save them. Are you kidding? Look at this place. They clearly got caught with their pants down. It was over before it started. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Keepers! Hey, you better not be taking anything valuable, you little weasel. Relax! Everything good's already been burnt to a crisp. Woo, except this. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Here's hoping we do better against Boom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I've appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Foom may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right.
right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Take heed! The ice is amplifying our takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Nonsense. We shall be victorious and our conquest will fill us with the vigor of ten. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be a dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo. And Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. So, what was up with old Bubblehead? Seemed like an augment to me, some sort of amorphous biochemical appendage. Imagine what she could do with all those hands. Don't be gross. What? I didn't mean it like that. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Ben Fang Fu! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foom. You face your final moments. Not final. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. We spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
him into submission. get you killed if you don't control it. Which is why we don't rush in. We take our time and we bring them down. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quinn. Ah! Feel this! Punch him up! Chop, chop, Gamora! Ah! Do not hold back now! Is he talking to us or Boom? We're gonna slice him up! We're fighting a dragon! Believe it and shoot it! Scream on, Watch out for him! Well, everything! Great advice, Gamora! Wreck him, Drax! Are we even making a dent? Drax does not dent! We seem to be making him matter! So that's progress! Hold on to something! This makes a square with Hellbender! You would do well to use her full title in her presence! Time 
to the big guns! Feel free to give up, Boom! Boom would never shame himself with surrender. The beast grows desperate! Yeah, and pissed! And he's down to get sloppy! Incoming fire! Literally! Thought we lost you for a second. Steer clear of those claws! We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... The Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! of us together. Lord Foom. <laughs> the final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. 
Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. That... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. Are we are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Uh, she will, I'm certain of it. Alright, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, cause we're not stopping again. <clears throat> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but... Now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough! I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? 
You already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice. What is it? You'll see. Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. Just browsing, huh? All right, let's go. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> the, the, what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the grand humidity! I am Groot! Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait, so you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. And yes, I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. So... This great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh... Its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and... Now there's no Foom to, you know... send you there. Ah... Uh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. 
Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklufor to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or... He could do what I and many of my people believe he did. Change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Nice move there, Drax. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, the guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him. Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Gamora Zen Huberi, you wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? You could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. What is it? Your angle of attack was off. You have to go at it from the inside out, especially since Raker's body armor has inward folds. Ah, a tactically sound observation. I noticed it made a big difference when I had to assassinate a congregation of Badoon dignitaries. They were wearing so many layers. All right, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, eh, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. We're sure she's coming, right? <laughs> 
She is a woman of honor, a queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels, while the church is out looking for the source. We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! a place to park. Look at those walls. Our deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure the sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? through the ship's hull. Yet you're still whispering. Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through it. But they can't. Certainly if they can hear it. of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf-9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady's murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base is way in. There's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Boom! If you get us killed, Quill, I'm gonna kill you! Hurry up, Peter! The real fun's gonna be inside Breaker's ship! Getting us in there as fast as I can! Crap, that's a lot of turrets! Kill him or dodge him! We gotta get through there! She's fighting with us, not against Never us! Is. 
Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches! prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. He almost kicked our butts when he was all sad and mopey. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and crude, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. 
If Magus had turned warlock, he would have been here to free us. Mantis, no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! We'll meet new people soon! I'm already here, Mantis! Oh, they hide for me! Celestial Madonna sends her freedom. And there's millions more where they came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. They still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. been in a church? Yes, I have. This one. Twice. Oh. <sighs> Is this really the safest route? Lord, no! But safe ain't my top priority right now. Well, I bet you could pull up the rest of them floor panels. <sighs> See? Told ya! I'm thinking! <sighs>
Got him. Golden Boy's this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. See? Nothing to it. Yep, signal's coming from somewhere inside that giant freaking rock. Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters. Enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Okay, we got this. Test your metal! Try the damn fruit! You shall not wield the Nova Force again, traitor! That should be done! Correct! Cross it! Let's keep moving. 
down there? No. Better than being exposed up here. <clears throat> Guys, it's not too late to surrender. Us down. Just drop your blasters and we're all even, okay? Sick of tracks! Bring your head, you know we chase it here, right? With all the faith being pointing the way, he must be ready for anything. Argument, and we beat them mercilessly. Half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall. That would be very, very bad. Maybe we should keep moving? I would like to leave this enclosure. I cannot see the battle. 
You mean you might miss a peek at Lady Hellbender? Well, I just didn't find Foom. Do you think Foom holds a grudge? We bested him, in his own lair. He will forever recognize us as his superiors. Yeah, well, he's Lady Hellbender's pet now, and she does hold a grudge. That is true. Beasts worthy of our hunt. Okay, here we go. One time, I spent several rotations on the outside of a ship, stuck. Look out! Yeah! Thank that, Rakers reject. These things are built like freaking Terminators. No, you will be there. <laughs> fight for everything is happening, like, right here. People are gonna write books about this. I've gotta give you credit, Peter. Really? Your crazy plan is actually working. I never expected Lady Hellbender to show up here. I wasn't sure we were ever gonna find Foom, or beat him. The brute's right. Even though your life is an endless cesspool of bad decisions and worse luck, somehow you managed to float on top of all the scud. Believe it or not, I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> nope, uh, I don't believe it. But it doesn't matter. Somehow you thrive in moments of chaos. Everyone quiet. Rocky, tell me we're almost through this. Uh, we're further than we were the last time you asked. Clark! Don't blame me. I'm just the guy with the tracker. <laughs> <laughs>
metal? Yeah. Glad you got your music back, Will. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. Careful, it's still hot. You gotta get through this. Cut it I down! I got this. Back into a hole. Great! Like holes. Ah, giant robot! I hate these things. Not even sure it is totally robot. What does that mean? It's running on base energy, right? That's on speed. those things have people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again to reach Warlock. Leave this to me! We survived this. We should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Nope. Peter Quill. Groot. Your votes. I am Groot. Uh, Groot's a no, and Quill... abstains from voting. So I have been overruled. You can still write to her. Invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Nope. Peter Quill. She probably still wants to murder me, so I'm gonna be a no. In her defense, that describes most people. That's fair. Bruce a no, too. The voters have decided. I have been overruled. busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah, as long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If 
we do, we'll see you at the top. Correction, I will see you at the top. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you believe in. But I will ask if there is room for you. Just following my gut on something. Perhaps Lady Helvet will join us in our final battle against the Magus. Something tells me she's got her hands full. They are large hands. Now where the flark is he going? It's... Cold scouting, okay? It's a shame Lady Hellbender didn't have this kind of army to back us during the Galactic War. She's building her legacy. We are fortunate to have her now. Yeah, let's stay on her good side. Is that you in there? Da. Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing nowhere. Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privet, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone, until he is biting on your ass. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Nerd, Cosmo is best of boys. <laughs> now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams! This is sweet! And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. Sorry, people, but I gotta... This is a legendary moment. Rhapsodists will sing of this generations from now. When the Guardians of the Galaxy and Lady Hollander... <laughs> I warned you, couldn't hold it in. Now that will make an interesting verse for the song. I got this. Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Grand Unifier again. We'll stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. Yeah, well, he spanked us the last time we took him on. Wait, something's off. I almost that. Don't blow up the edge! Acknowledge my velocity! 
Electricity! Woo! <laughs> that happened! Yes, it did! Whoa, the tracker signal is way stronger in here. We're getting close. Something tells me Raker's cronies won't make this easy. Neither will we. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring him to us and we'll let you go. Hey, listen. Broke another cultist! Having fun praying on the week? Sorry to cut and run! They fight with renewed vigor! They think we're trying to keep them out of paradise! Danger close, Market! Can't wait to empty my guns at the Magus' face! Going to unleash a whole lot of spark toy pain on that galactic sphincter! Zap! I love playing Zappa Zealot! Please, do your souls do not know when to quit! Woof, you're up! Drop us in here! We'll come back to the Garnack with one arrow! I'll tell the reason with them as well. It won't work. Just put them down! Making sure work of these cultist creeps! These deluded souls do not know your will! Unleash me onto these fools! Show us the muscle! Prepare for pain! How would we even know the fulfillment has begun? Reality has not changed! I would know! This time! Let's keep pushing. The signal's pinging from deeper in the mines. Hard to believe that this all started with a bunch of miners getting sick. If that hadn't happened, Raker would still be mining rocks. I want to live in that timeline. No, you don't. It's even worse than this one. This whole church sprung up from a bunch of miners. Wish they'd stuck to digging. Tie him down! Do we trust Lady Aesop to stab us in the back? No way! She even gave me back my music! Stop that weirdo deserve it! Throw that, Drax! Lever! Wake up! You are being deceived! It's pointless! They won't hear you! Somebody's still digging down here! I'm betting they use these precious metals for the faith tech. The Grand Unifier is holding the damage all from the No! Watch your butts! They grab the lock! Make them hurt, Gamora! That big robot is a serious problem! Gamora! I shall enjoy this! Ain't hey, nobody trading that scuff once the dirt is gone. Go risky! Rock it! Take some breathing room, Groot! I scrambled more than his brain with that one! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Lost requirement in open space. If you're attacked unprovoked, you have the right to claim the battle spoil. We have definitely provoked them. They provoked us first! Lots of time!
Watch the sidelines. Lots of nooks and crannies in here. They ain't slipping past me. Punch it, Drax. Light them up, Rocket! Great idea, bud. If we pull this off, we should come back here and fill up our cargo hold. Sell the ore on the black market? Payment for a job well done? Seems fair to me. Well, we ain't made the bat jump. Peter's got this. He does? Peter Quill possesses the magical weapons. Safety inspection. The dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. What if Raker and his forces are perceived as martyrs? This old workbench is kind of crusty, but I do some of my best work with crusty tools. What? Hey, look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've gotta be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Aggression by the Universal Church of Truth cannot be tolerated. Lethal force has been authorized. Surrender will not be considered. Holy Scott, they came back. Of course they did. Give them hell, world mind! Guardians of the galaxy, it is imperative that you evacuate this vessel before we fire upon it. Hold that thought. Adam Warlock's on this ship. Incorrect. Adam Warlock perished in the Galactic War. He's here, alive. He is still alive, right? The Church abducted the Golden God. We intend to free him. You said it yourself. Adam Warlock is the only one with the potential to stop this. Very well. We will focus on reducing support forces. For now. Act with haste, Guardians. We, uh, hit a little bit of a roadblock. Step forward and witness the full destructive potential of the Nova Force. Good. The drone, not the cheeks. Grand Unifier. Scott, everyone down. Finally come to confront the captive, castigate him for how far he's fallen. Just shut your mouth for once. A clear shot. Don't. We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up on the very eve of our ascension. To what? 
take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our God was dead. And with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that... You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your... Mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You're nothing but a husk, a faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker! Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess. Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. A pleasant dream. Magus camped out in your head for way longer than Nikki, and you seem mostly okay. I am half empty, haunted, harrowed by the abject absence of its venomous voice. I loathe and long for its cold cup. I am good. Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! Ah! Rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily. Can you hear me? She's 
We need your help, Peter. Focus on my... You're almost there. Focus on me, Peter. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up! Nikki, what? I'll get back to you soon, girl. We just gotta save the galaxy first. No wonder she wants this so bad. We look so happy. You stay here. I'll haul her if I need you. your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Okay. I know this is gonna sound weird. Great. So can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Nikki. None of this seems oddly familiar to you? Oh no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others. This is so weird. How do I get Nikki to see it? That the projector? Great! The gift! Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Guess that answers my question. All that's left is a projector. <sighs> ah, Corral. Wish you were here right now. I kinda need your help. Shoddy knockoff. Stitching's all loose. Can't believe I didn't see through it last time. I wonder how great you'll think I am after I destroy this nightmare. Insurmountable odds is right. How do I get through to Nikki? Okay, Nick. What if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, 
Am I ever glad to see you? It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. But if we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm not a father. No. Well, not her father. Well. Okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. She Please has to come. listen to me on this, Nikki. Can we talk about this after Mom's birthday? Destroy the Mom's lost promise. promise. None of this is real. Quit kidding around. She'll be here. It has to be. No, kiddo. She won't. Stop trying Destroy the to lie. ruin it. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. I can fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and, and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. 
How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12 year old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this. The promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. Bitch. I remember feeling this cavernous. I don't care how you felt! Wow, um. That was brutally honest. I've seen your promise. I've seen hundreds of thousands of promises. None of them helped me. I know. I know. I just want you to know that I've been through some version of what you're going through. Yay! I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And then... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... If it had just been different... You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. Reject the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults. It's not the galaxy eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. But there's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. When she was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned.
there is something I do have to do alone. Focus on Raker's fan club. they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. But what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. Trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Let's do this! Let's... Look out! Put the lights out! Grand Unifier, please! <laughs> Run the fuck! Run him through! Rocket! New gun! Does this mean Magus is free? Siphoning must cease! The shot now is the time to strike! Let's make let's see that sword! He's all of us! Face me! I'm with you, bud! Let's watch!
haven't felt this excited since the Galactic War! Better watch her out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boo. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! This is gonna be fun! Feel him better next, well. Peter. Unleash me onto these fools! Oh, no. Fast! Before you, your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and masses await. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in. Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. Are you old dog? We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh! Who are all these little guys? 
eyes! If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> you, Rose. Uh, I, uh, Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. The Golden God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice. Your additional data analysis did adjust certain computational. Wow. You can just feel the world but clenching. <laughs> What, wild beast? <laughs> what foul fluid, foolish fickle creature? Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big one. No. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mine. I'm glad it's this end. Not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Oh, boy. Oh. Please proceed. Nah, you go ahead. No need. I insist. No, I insist. Please proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our problems. Which is why you should go first. I will voyage through the Vexing. What now? Uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit, I guess. Clearly it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. 
You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh, shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. We do not own a first aid kit. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. He probably just needs some ginger <sighs> ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Oh, come on! Mark! <laughs> Magus. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny makes three. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. When that thing attacked my mom and me, it was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six! It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus! Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly! Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new ID. By doing what you do best, Guardians. <clears throat> nah, no, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating people. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee everything than me? Oh. For the very small fee of your souls. You're in my reality now. So near. We're not gonna do anything? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? Remarking, you idiot. What? I said kneel! Oh, are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yeah. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! Everyone to me! Now! You heard, my lady! Everyone, stay close! How the floor can she? Hey, that was amazing! How did you- No idea! I 
just camp now. So far, so good, Guardian. But you're not out of the woods yet. Tick tock. Enough talk. You begin to bore me. Oh, perfect. Groot says we got more bugs. Keep them busy, Groot. Say something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats, gnawing on nothing, because nothing is which I have not begat. Cat, bat, muskrat, Matt. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously, how is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splatty, splat, splat! Water, man! You begin to annoy me. It's what we do! Combat, format, diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates. Okay, pretty sure we derailed him. Careful. Hey, I'm the one with cool powers now, remember? It's definitely growing on me. Soon 
sooner or later, everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Now, Star Guy! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone. I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right. We're the guardians of the galaxy. We have business cards. And we'd rather die than submit to you. You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst. <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very... He's gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like, over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis, the chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, 
The second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for all the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, none other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine! Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion! So you just have to build another bedroom, and maybe a bathroom, and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide... parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably gonna be just, uh... Can't look after a kid. You are a kid. You should arguably have somebody looking after you. Oh crap. I mean, Nikki's great and all, but she's still gonna need guidance and emotional support and oh, vegetables. Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They are not fit to be around children! Drax is a convicted mass murderer. Rocket is volatile and mean. On a good day, Gamora's only parental model is Thanos and Groot. 
Group can only say three words! And we could not be a more unfit group of people. But that's okay to admit, right? So you're a little scared, <laughs> terrified even. But that just means you care. <laughs> My man. Peter Quill! Peter Quill, we have decided the child will take your room. You will take the couch. It was unanimous. Wait, 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 what? Okay, we'll talk. How are we on those coordinates? Already, just give the word. Where are we going again? <laughs> to buy more business cards.